<laughs> Welcome to Kind of Funny's Terminator in Review. That's right. We are ranking and reviewing every movie in the James Cameron verse. Not, of I was Terminator. Say, not every movie. Of Terminator. So we're doing Terminator, the Terminator, T2 Judgment Day, and then Terminator Dark Fate, which is produced by James Cameron. Yeah, that's right. Directed that's by right. Tim mm-hmm. Miller, though. We'll get to that later. Because uh, today we're talking about the Terminator. <laughs> oh. When he's not doing cranes, he's doing movies. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Uh, you can watch this show every. Oh man, I don't know when this one's going live. Cause Kevin's changing up the Thursday? schedules and shit. This t- this one's Thursday. Next week I think it's going to be Friday. But we are doing uh, Terminator One this week. Terminator Two next week. We're also doing the Star Wars movies. Uh, Jedi came out this week, two days ago. We're coming up on Phantom Menace next Tuesday. The normal in review schedule. You can watch them live twitch.tv slash kind of funny, or you can watch the videos later on youtube.com slash kind of funny or roosterteeth.com. Listen to it as a podcast by searching for kind of funny reviews. Uh, we appreciate all of your high ratings, whether the thumbs up, five stars, or the ten fingers. I don't appreciate the low ones. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. They don't exist. Perfect ratings right now. Oh, wow. And, and keep it going, guys. Mm-hmm. Ignorance is bliss. Mm-hmm. You know what they say. If you don't look at it, it's still going. I'm, I'm Tim at, Gettys. <laughs> I'm looking at one review right now. This is Greg. It's stupid. That's <laughs> Nick Scarpino. That Did you make any room on your oh, fucking oh, 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 Making oh, his oh, return oh, to shoes. interview. Yeah. Greg Miller. What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller, back. For in review, and I'm excited. I watched Avatar last night. All ready for this one. Great, Hell great. Yes. Blue people, save the blue people. Big dog, Kevin Koala, and Hello. Andy Cortez. Hey guys, how, how you guys doing? doing? Fantastic. Yeah, I just finished part two. Uh-huh. Okay. No, no, future, no spoilers. future spoilers, Andy. Or well, past like, spoilers. Don't weird. go back in the past and spoil oh, stuff in the future. Oh, it's a weird timeline. Don't go back in the past to make out with your mom and then kill someone in the future. You can get the show ad free by going to patreon.com slash kinda funny, just like Al Tribesman and David Mintel, the Predator Mind and the Mind Freak. Want some candy? Want, want some candy? Who's gonna be the next producer that will join and become join the ranks? Jo- join the trio. You mm-hmm. better have a funny name. Because right now on USA Network, you can watch the Predator and the Tribesman. No, the other yeah. one. <laughs> What if, like, what, if was, what if it was the Dan other one. Die Hard? Wouldn't that be like what would we do for Danny him? Danny Die Hard. What Danny would you do for die Danny Die Hard, Andy? Well, 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 Mr. Walker. Okay. Wow. It's getting better, but it's it not really great. It really isn't. Thanks, man. Yeah. Today we're talking about The Terminator, released on October 26th, 1984, directed by James Cameron himself. Old Jimmy. After completing a screenplay for The Terminator, this is, uh, come with me if you want some facts. Hey! Okay. Oh, oh, clever. After We're completing his screenplay for The Terminator, Cameron decided to sell it so that he could direct the movie himself. However, the production company he contacted, while expressing interest in the project, were unwilling to let a largely inexperienced feature film director make the movie. Finally, Cameron found a company called Hemdale Pictures, which was willing to let him direct. Gail Ann Hurd, who had started her own production company, Pacific Western Productions, had previously worked with Cameron and Roger Corman's company and agreed to buy Cameron's screenplay for just $1. On the condition that Cameron directed the film. Heard was signed on as a producer, and Cameron finally got his first break as a director. Orion Pictures distributed the film. Heard and Cameron were married from 1985 to 1989. Did Gil and do The Walking Dead also? These are Cameron facts. I feel like she produced Not The Walking Dead as well. Heard facts. <laughs> y'all, y'all, uh, if we did the, Heard facts, y'all, y'all heard? heard? Y'all heard? Y'all heard? <laughs> heard the news? Uh, let's it's see. Really it's real good. You brought your hands in, in here. here. Ready, guys. You know what I mean? One of the best. Greg Miller. She's been a producer for a long time. She did do Walking Dead 2010 to present. (laughs) That's right. Yeah. (laughs) A whole whole bunch of fun stuff going on there. Uh, A budget of just $6.4 million. The Terminator was a box office hit, breaking expectations by Orion Pictures executives that the film would be regarded as no more than a sci-fi film that would only last a week in theaters. It was a low-budget film, which cost $6.5 million to make, cutting expenses in such ways as recording the audio track in mono. However, the Terminator eventually earned over $78 million worldwide oh, that's pretty at 78.3 million that's how you make an investment andy mm-hmm. <laughs> figure it out <laughs> learn about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's a whole thing <laughs> so that's all it's so cool to see those old logos by the way you, oh, i don't know Orion, they, it's got such a logo. Logo. and if i'm not mistaken the carol cole logo was in this as well and i always thought that was the coolest one because it's the one that starts as a little c and then goes to another c another c another c another c I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm the only one on that one. Yeah. A runtime of one hour and 48 minutes. Thank God. 
I appreciated that so much. It's fast. Yeah. I mean, this is an 80s film, right? Yeah. And not only that, but like, it really is. What's crazy is going back and watching this, like, I didn't realize how much of, um, and, and I know that it's not necessarily because we think of it more as an action film, but it really plays out like a horror film. Yeah. If you mm-hmm. think about it, especially the last, like, the, the last act where it's like, he's dead. No, he's not. He's dead. No, he's not. Um, and I love it. I mean, it's a very, very simple movie, but it's, it's just rooted enough in, in fun sci fi that makes it like, uh, it makes it deep. Which is good because it could have been like if they had just not put some of those elements in, it would have been kind. Of, it would have been very very cheesy. The biggest uh, inspiration for this was Halloween. James was Carpenter's it? Halloween. So that makes you, sense. The, John Carpenter. Evidently, his yes. uh, what is it? A tech noir, I think, is the yes, style that he says oh. this is. What's that? That's also the place he goes. That's where the they cool. go. That's why they. That's Technolog. why they called it that because he. Really? Yeah, so he was trying to he, make it a thing. He wanted to make that genre a thing, so he called the the. It definitely was a thing to me and my friends Technolog. when we played Terminator. We'd always like, I run, I'm running a techno. And then when you played the Terminator game, and then you'd run the little techno. Well, there like, was awesome. No, no, no. The, the other one, the one that was more faithful to the movie. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. The arcade one. I do remember <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, oh, I thought we were gonna say. Go for it, Andy. Oh, just seven syllables in. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if we were going around the table. No, just a, a quick fact here. In 2008, okay. the Terminator was selected by the Library of Congress for preservation in the National Film Registry as culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. Oh. Yeah. Was what, the first you, one to warn before, us Before we get into what we thought of this one, what is our history with the Terminator franchise, starting with Nick? Uh, I think, I mean, I, I remember seeing Terminator 1 before T2, but I did see T2 in, in uh, uh, cinemas, the movie theater. I said, I don't know, I'm so <laughs> My brain's no one was going to make fun of you, and then you did it to me. Well, I said it for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, saw, I saw it in theaters, man. And this movie, it's one of those things where, like, Terminator, when I was a kid, scared the shit out of me. It was terrifying. But it was just, I think I'd seen it just enough that it was cheesy and not terrifying. And then when I got to T2 Judgment Day, and seeing uh, Robert Patrick's character, I, I was like, this is fucking scary. It's like, terrifying. super scary. And it was such a cool choice to, like, and we'll, we'll get to that later. No future spoilers. But, it was, but the casting in this movie is so great. Especially with, because, uh, you know, originally they wanted Schwarzenegger to be Kyle Reese. And they, that would have been, terrible. Terrible. Would have been a terrible idea. And I guess he expressed more interest in being the Terminator because he likes the idea of that, despite being what, the bad guy. Yeah, being the bad guy, despite he hadn't really done that many protagonists. Didn't they roles. warn him too that if he was did this, he'd be a bad be guy forever? Type and, then, yeah. and he was like, I don't give a shit. It's dope. I'm fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, look at this. <laughs> and look, look at, at that this. fucking thing, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's got right. a big old python. No, but it's it's that? so cool seeing him and like and and to be honest, like and this is not a knock against Arnold Schwarzenegger's legendary acting abilities, but this role was like fucking made for him. Like talk about a guy that. I mean, his all of his natural inability to actually emote just works so well for this character. He's a robot, man. He's a robot, and like, and you see it, and like, it works, especially when the director really understands how to how to utilize him. Right? He's a big, imposing force. Just let him fucking stand there and just murder people without emoting, and it'll it'll be terrifying. Because if he was like ah screaming and shit, you're like, this is dumb. Or if he was like ah, like yeah, exactly, scared, it wouldn't work. But I mean, there's and there's so many little touches they do, like midway through the movie. I've seen this movie probably ten times. I have never noticed that after the fire scene when they first encounter him no after eyebrows. he runs through the fire no eyebrows no, and his hair yeah. singed off and I was like oh my god that's why he looks so much more fucking freaky despite the fact that the jacket he's wearing is ridiculous the halfway up the entire movie until yeah. at some point he changes into an even more yeah, gets leather ridiculous jacket. leather jacket but whatever yeah, that's when he's Levels like I've up. had enough of the shit alright yeah. I came back here on a good faith gesture to kill this fucking <laughs> chick now I'm pissed it wasn't personal now it's I'm, not, I'm not getting paid overtime for this <laughs> get me a fucking leather jacket and shades to yeah. hide my uggo eye <laughs> um, did, you, did you get to that part are you going to talk about the OJ Simpson stuff no. Oh, so there's a... Uh, Seven the, syllables in the... Men- <laughs> uh, one of the other pieces of trivia that's hilarious about this is that one of the people who was up for the role of the Terminator was O.J. Simpson, but hmm. but the producers didn't think audiences could think he think of him as a bad guy. <laughs> so that's like... Infamously. Really crazy, yeah. But wow. he was he was thinking about doing that role. There and then, of course, uh, they also were thinking about casting Stallone as, uh, uh, as Terminator, which is why if you go back and watch The Last Action Hero, there's actually a moment where like Shane Black could have nod to that where he walks into the movie store and sees Stallone as a Terminator. He's like, what? No, that's wrong. Yeah, that's great. Really that's cute. Yeah. Greg. Uh, me and my friends were obsessed with Terminator growing up. This is like when we would go on camping trips or just like when we were on camping trips, like when my, my parents had a motorhome and we go to Amboy, Illinois. What up? Yogi Bear National Park. How many Illinois are there? Come on. 
There's one state called Illinois. Uh, I had a banana seat bicycle that like with the big handlebars that looked like the motorcycle, like uh, mainly the, the Harley? mainly the T2 motorcycle, yeah, right? Not and the so, dope ass Honda City bike that he rode. In totally, the, yeah, in the, <laughs> not that one. Yeah. And so we would go cool and bike. play with that. And, like we'd already been playing Terminator, where somebody would be, be Kyle Reese and somebody would be Terminator, and somebody would be like, oh, I'm, I'm Sarah Connor, I'm I Sarah guess. Connor. Uh, you know what I mean? And then we'd do j- joke makeout sessions and joke touch sticks. Uh, uh, but like we'd run around and do that. And like whoa, I remember. Uh, uh, when T2 was coming, like, and he has that awesome shotgun, you know, that he can just sp- oh, spin so reload. Cool. My friend Mike got, uh, he, he, I don't even know, got the toy version of that that was bright blue, and his friend, his his uh, brother spray painted it black for us. Naturally. So we'd ride around on this thing, like, cocking, and it would, the way you played Terminator was just like, we'd be at the camp, and it would just be like, all right, you guys are Kyle and Sarah, or later on, John and whoever, like, just run off, and I'll come and terminate you. I'll just try to find you. Cool. And so you just ride the bike around like a psychopath <laughs> with this shotgun. In it, and did, you, <laughs> did you do the, did you do the music in your brain? We were like, don't, don't, oh yeah, don't, 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 don't. Yeah, we, we, we were, so, we were so into it. We watched this a million times. When T2 was coming up, we would buy every magazine with T2's coverage in it and just sit there and pour over it. Now, Love it. was uh, oh god, never mind. We'll talk about it next. Yeah, movie. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about like the future ones too? The future ones? The other Terminator movies? Like, have you like have oh, you yeah, seen I, them all? Oh, I've seen every Terminator. Yeah, yeah. cool. You remember if you remember correctly. Well, the the time Greg and I actually became friends was a couple years ago in Vegas mm-hmm. with you. We got pizza and we watched Terminator Genesis. We it was like, like two years ago. I was going to say, the well, company was already well founded by that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun night, though. That, that was fun. Was so <laughs> that was, that Thank was God fun. we don't have to watch that again. I know. Okay, not as bad as three. I, uh, I don't remember life without the Terminator. In it. I don't know when I watched it. It's just something that's always been in my life. So I have no idea. Like, it's always been this. Crazy, scary, and impen- like it's. But like, how crazy. relative is how how relevant is it to you guys who like grew up in the nineties, like without good Terminator movies? Does that make sense? Well, no, but like that's the like, thing. Like w- when we were growing up, like. It, what's what? my question? Is like, was we, Rise of the Machines a big movie for you, or were you just like, whatever, this is a dumb stupid? I, I, it was movie. exciting, but then you watched it because like, this oh, shit it's was not, like, it's not great. This was a T2? cultural yeah. phenomenon when T, when yeah. he came back to Terminator and did T two. We were like, fuck this, that's awesome. Yes, of course, that makes sense. Why wouldn't he do that? And they were brilliant enough to put a kid in it, you know, John Connor or whatever, yeah, like just the same, us, the age of yeah. ever, right around plus or minus the kids who are already obsessed with Terminator. Yeah. I think I actually had that haircut too no, for a long time. No way. I did. It was like this one, like the little flock of seagulls cut. It's cute. <laughs> I want to picture that. She's not my fucking bad. Andy. Uh, I don't really have much of a pass with Terminator. Uh, I was telling Nick, it's, it's like the movie that my dad would have kind of playing on TV and I was too young to remember anything about it. Uh, upon rewatching one, the only scene that I kind of had a visual like memory of was in the police station. Oh, oh sure. Like, it's terrifying. Into, and that that's kind of like all I recognize visually. Like all a lot of what I know from Terminator is like the Wayne's World movies. Yeah, like totally. referencing it and, and just pop culture referencing it. Uh, cause it, it was such a memeable thing, you know. It would it would be funny if your dad only let you like you came in and only got to watch the first five minutes, and you just kept thinking your dad was watching Arnold Schwarzenegger naked in movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, but the same with all the franchise. But like uh, going back to your question, I think Nick was like, how did I feel about Terminator and these new franchises? You know, like Salvation, properties? Rise of like, Machines, those things. I don't remember anything. Like I remember watching the one with Christian Bale in the break room of Best Buy. Like, yeah, I just Salvation. I never really gave a shit about the franchise. Uh, uh, and even part two was, again, one of those movies that may have been on on an afternoon, and I probably walked by it and sat there for 30 minutes. But, like, until right now, until, like, today is the first time that I've sat down and watched one and two complete all the way through. Wow. Yeah. Uh, just real quick, I n- I've never seen Salvation or the Genesis. Mm. Yeah. Smart, don't do yeah. it. My, the best way to view Genesis is in a Vegas hotel with a, with pizza, one slice of pizza that you should have got just the whole pizza. And a new friend. We bought yeah, yeah what well, we bought we bought two slices a piece <laughs> and it was somehow seventy five dollars. Seventy five fucking dollars. And we could have bought a whole piece whole pizza <laughs> for fifty. Yeah, right, right, right. It was God, ridiculous. Stupid so, Vegas. So okay. was, I uh, I'm closer to Andy I think than anyone else where I've seen all of them except this one once. This one, I don't think I've ever fully seen wow. until, until now. I've seen bits and pieces on it's TV. It's definitely one that's on TV. You're like, oh, I'll watch yeah. this for five minutes. And then it gets to the point where it's just a fake doll with a red eye. And you're like, I'm out. I don't it's like a hotel TV. Like going back to your yeah. thing about 
watching Dark Fate or whatever the fuck it was called. Genesis. 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 Yeah, yeah. With a y. Dark Fate's a new one. Um, is it good? No, but it's in the Terminator world. We have to understand it. Yeah, these Not anymore. The we have to got Daenerys in it. These are the ones that, like, again, show on a hotel Kyle's TV. Kyle's a baby. Like, <laughs> at three in the morning. It's like, I guess this is on yeah. right now or whatever. Yeah, Terminator 2, I also just saw once. I'm going to watch it tonight, so I'm very, very excited about that. But, uh, yeah, now getting into what we thought about this one. I was so pleasantly surprised because I always thought it was, like, the lesser movie. Like, oh, I, okay. and I also didn't know it was directed by James Cameron. I thought oh, that yeah. he came in and, like fixed it with two you know and i mm, thought this was just mm. like a it's a movie whatever but two is when it gets great i thought this was very well paced like i love the lack of exposition mm. like we don't get exposition in this movie besides the one title screen uh like the weird yeah like, i'll cover it don't worry. star wars scroll until like they're under the bridge an hour into the movie yeah. and i'm like thank mm -hmm. god i love that they let you kind of just start to piece together who's coming after her. And like, it's it's hard because you kind of know <laughs> going in like now because of pop culture stuff. Yeah. Um, but I just think they did such a good job with what they had. Having said that, God, so much of the set design, makeup, and especially the music is garbage. It's very low budget. Yeah. And very the music, I think, just takes away from it so much. The theme song, fan fucking tastic. The use of the theme song and piano version during a sex scene, Hell yeah. even fucking better. All the rest of that's the synth stuff. That is just oh, like, I love the synth stuff. It's so bad, oh, man. Oh, they're on the run. It sounds like someone's making music using their the key tones on their phone. That's probably <laughs> honestly what they did. I mean, so Cameron came from uh, studying under, I think, uh, Roger Corman, who was like a, 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 a infamous B-movie director. Not infamous, but like very, very famous for directing very, very, very low budget, like tons and tons of B-movies. So he learned all these techniques with him. But you have to give it to James Cameron. Let's think about what he did. He did Terminator. Then right after that, he did Aliens. Then right after that, he did The Abyss. And then right after that, he did Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Which Scott is like, and, gun, gun, and then gun, what a run. Avatar, and then Titanic, the Titanic yeah. and then Avatar. And it was just like, Crazy. so uh, this guy, I mean, he's just fucking unbelievably talented. As yeah, a uh, and uh, upon like sort Horrible of my to work first rewatch, I, <laughs> I thought it was awesome. I, I Again, I, I'm sort of putting aside all the, you know, it's an old movie. Yeah, old yeah you're great on a curve. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I was pleasantly surprised as well because I saw some chatter in our Facebook group about like, oh, this is kind of boring. And then I saw some of the prizes like, what? This movie's great. So I went in not really knowing. And I was worried because I, I totally agree with you, Tim. I thought T2 was like, oh, this is where the franchise gets good or whatever. I thought part one was really cool. Um, I thought the, I guess... So many of the themes and so many of the uh, the concepts of technology is just kind of what we know now yeah. in today uh, today's day and age with like the machines taking over. Is yeah. this the first time AI that was learning. ever realized? Like, is is this the first? Uh, no, I was, but, I was thinking that same question. Like, I mean, I doubt it. I'm what, sure that machines well, ever won. Yeah, well, like, well, that the machines became self aware. Well, how like, like 2001 is Space Odyssey? That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that, we we had okay. seen some stuff oh, like yeah. that, but never. I, I no, nothing that I can recall offhand that's like, oh, like the machines took over scale? and fucking post apocalyptic like landscape starts the film off. But, but w with two thousand one, it's not so much that the machine is sentient and trying to kill him. It's this. It's got two different sets of orders, right? So this is like this is the first thing that I recognize as like. AI is a thing, and it's going after humanity because it. I don't know. Like whatever you, you see, it's, is. you see it so much with like I, I, I know of all of these words and stuff just being on the internet, and whenever something happens with Tesla, they're like, oh, Skynet's coming or whatever. Or whenever uh, uh, Elon Musk will talk about, you know, we have to be careful with AI. Everybody like always memes Skynet jokes or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm just so impressed by the. I again, I'm not impressed by the set design, but I'm impressed by the vision of it. You Absolutely, know, like and a, especially on 6.4 million. Realizing yeah. it, not so great, but a lot of the the ideas that went into it, like a, it, at, even at the start of the movie, you see those helicarriers, and it's like this is Halo. Yeah. Like these yeah. are oh, these are modern looking uh, uh, pelicans or mm -hmm. whatever. Like mm -hmm. this is a lot of that vision is still like ha has stuck through all these decades in sci-fi. Well, not only that, but like, you know, and and it resonated all throughout the industry like iconically, of course, like the Kyle Reese with the little the his speaker there was what people think uh, Kojima got for like like the inspiration from, from Metal Gear. Metal Gear. And so you see that when you see him do that thing where he kind of goes up and he's got that weird ass like microphone yeah. that's cutting his face like this for whatever reason and he has that pose, you see that. So you can see how like influential this was oh, like, yeah. across yeah. across all of media. But yeah, and yeah, God, they, they just Bean. traced over him. I thought, I thought that's like is that how it was been confirmed. Yeah, like they that shot lines up perfectly with the first 
uh, Metal Gear That's NES box cover. Art. Fucking awesome. Yeah, it's like it looked. It's just a traced over drawing, like the same That's pose rad. and everything. And again, I think I think one of the reasons why this movie works so well is because of the budgetary constraints. Because like I know Cameron wanted to do a lot more with the story. I think he wanted to bring in like the idea of potentially stopping the apocalypse from happening in this one, but they just literally didn't have the budget for it. And it's one of those. It's one of those instances, just like The Matrix, where you're like. You just you're just given enough budget and you're stretching it in such a creative way that it works. If they had if he had more money on this on an '80s budget and he had to bring in like the liquid metal Terminator, it just would have been horrible. It just would not have worked. To get some facts out of the way here, uh, Cameron had originally wanted to incorporate the advanced model Terminator into the first film, but the special effects at the time were not advanced enough. The groundbreaking effects used in the Abyss to digitally depict the water tentacle convinced Cameron that his liquid metal villain was now possible. So Many hidden technological effects can be found in the Terminator. One instance includes the laser sight on the uh, the so fire on that the Terminator uses. Cool. Laser technology at the time was so rudimentary that Schwarzenegger was required to hide a remote battery pack under his sleeve. And like, if you if you watch it, you can totally see him kind of can uncomfortably you really? like so holding things. Additionally, during the sequence where the Terminator punches through the windshield in the alley, a hydraulic arm was used in place of his. The shot was captured in one take after several several rehearsals. That's I'll cool. be facts. There we go. There we go. What was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? These are the facts you're looking for. Come with me if you want some facts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seven syllables here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get to the plot. Greg will say the plot. Greg will say the plot. There we go. That's it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> na, na, na. it is 2029, and things aren't looking good, Kevin. We got a fucking HK up there. That's a hunter killer. Hunter killer. It's a, like looking around for shit. Skulls are there. And then, yes. Ripping off Star Wars, mm -hmm. they've some font on there. But it's in the cool oldie time computer font, yeah, which Apple, I love. Apple II, I Computers think. should go back to that. Mm -hmm. We Star have it, we Wars lost Apple. something, and we never sit around and say, we lost something. We need to talk about it. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. what Your you nostalgia. <laughs> the font! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the font reads, the yeah. machines rose from the ashes of the nuclear fire. Their war to exterminate mankind had raged for decades, but the final battle would be fought in... Would not be fought in the future. It would be fought here in our present tonight. Da, da, da. So, yeah. so cool. We then go to LA, modern time, yeah, 1984. Yeah, it is the Griffith Observatory in LA. You know it well from La La Land. Remember this, Kevin? Great they movie. went there and Got they danced around. Fly. Bing bong, bing bong, 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 bing bong, bing bong. But not that song. It wasn't that one. <laughs> bing bong. And they float around. Yeah. Everybody's like, yeah. are we on drugs? Are they on drugs? What's happening in this movie? It's about I love elevating drugs, you. I can still see them floating. You also might remember that Scott Lowe and Cindy took Jen and I there once on a tour of LA. Don't remember no, that. No, no. No. That's a fact of the furious. <laughs> <laughs> right. It, it makes a lot of things up here. It happened in a car. Okay, he's anyway, <laughs> there's a guy there, right? And he's like d delivering trash or whatever. Right? He's like, what the hell? And he's got a cigar. It's not like, what the hell? Oh, and he's yeah. Yeah, exactly. My favorite thing about that guy is he's in one scene of Weird Science. Is he? Yeah. You remember when they go to the Blues Club? And he's like, ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy's yeah, 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 yeah. I've never seen Weird Science, but the amount of time I've heard Nick reference this so great movie. You remember he goes, drink it. Drink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that what Anthony Michael Hall's got the sunglasses on? Yeah, when on? he goes, man, let me tell you. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah really exactly, 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 exactly. <laughs> Anyways, though, this time it's not a happy scene. Instead, it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger scene. He's been beamed back from the future to now in 1984. And he's there, and he's big, Nick. Is he he's naked? He's big. Oh, he's Everywhere. naked. Does he have abs? And he's got a sculpted booty. Were they born? Born and <laughs> loud. Now it's time to rank those. The good, the file had to buffer. Sorry. It's okay. It's a go. It's an, it's an older computer. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit! Holy shit! His body in this is He's an action figure. Unbelievable. Insane. Like, I, I'll be honest, and, and it's unfortunate because he's going to just have to go up against himself throughout the years here. But I don't think there's any beating Arnold there's Schwarzenegger's no, physique no. in this movie. It is fucking unreal. I mean, the decision, like, we're going to start this movie, and Arnold, you're going to be naked. Yeah. And they're just like, that's the only way this movie's happening. But I let me ask it. you this question. If you suddenly woke up mm -hmm. tomorrow, yeah. and you looked like that, yeah. would you not just come to work naked? I mean, you know? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do know. <laughs> I, I do don't know. know. I don't know. You I don't know, man. But, dude, I, I, right before we watched this movie... I saw someone post a, a meme that was just like, man, Terminator and Blu-ray changed everything. And it was like a shot of like the original Terminator, mm -hmm. like like VHS release or whatever, and then Blu-ray. And you just see that fucking see that thing. that big old donger. You see that donger just man, fucking he's got a swinging fire back and coming forth, down there dude. to put your fire out. Jesus. Yeah. Andy, are you on fire? Because there's a hose I know of you could use. Just a big old fucking... Good for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's man. number one. Number one on the list. 
On the dick list? Or the... <laughs> and they rank those abs. Oh, okay, sorry. We're going to rank some other labs. We got some more abs and labs coming up. Yeah, yeah. we do. Don't worry about this it, everyone. This is a song. We're going to rank the dunk. Where did the dong oh, ring? Big old fat fucking yeah, dong. Number <laughs> yeah. He's got a number big one old with dong. A bullet. <laughs> Anyways, Arnold Schwarzenegger's there now, naked as the day was born, overlooking LA and being like, yeah, I'm going to fuck some shit up here. Mm -hmm. I wonder where Sarah Connor is. We don't know that yet, but that's what he's thinking. And then over at the little fucking telescope, you're like, excuse me. Excuse me, is that Bill Paxton is dressed Bill Paxton. as a punk with a tire on his face and weird? Mu and you're like, yeah, that's yeah, Bill Paxton. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Yeah, rest What's peace. the deal with that look? Why does Nick, he look? I'm gonna ask you this punk? question. Punk? This, this, these like these like punks. These like the we see them in, in, the in Dark Knight Returns, like that kind of like just weird. Well, in the 80s, was that real though? Yeah, it was like it was, it was a punk a rock style. That was the thing. If you were okay. into punk, like if you were, is you that know. what Mad dressed like? No. Okay. Matt with Matt, These Matt, are like dressed in Hawaiian punks. shirts in the eighties. My mom used to dress us alike. But I guess what I'm asking is, was it just a movie thing or like what? It was more exaggerated, but no. I mean, if you were into like Sid Vicious and like uh, you have like fucking like random face paint and shit. The random face paint, no, probably. Those not. are like but the spiky yeah. hair yeah. and like the chains and shit. Yeah. Those are like, like gangs that. out of like Rage Two. And yeah. Like fucking they were supposed to be just street punks, but like, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. It wasn't like everywhere you walked, there was like, oh, there's those punks again. No, but I can't help but look at Bill Paxton's face and and like not ever see him younger than 45 years old. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, if you look at this and it still looks like old Bill yeah, Paxton. Yeah, it's but weird. What's oh, also yeah. crazy about this is just like pay attention as we go through this to how many of these people keep reappearing in in uh, James Cameron movies because Bill mm -hmm. Paxton mm -hmm. and Lance Hendrickson come back in Aliens, yeah. which is crazy. Bill Paxton, and then, game over, Titanic. man. And Titanic as well, and then I think Vasquez in Aliens ends up being uh, his stepmom in T two, so they work with no, her a lot. Future spoiler: Cameron Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Do you have a song for that? Cam, Cam, Cam! It's a cinematic universe. James Cameron's cinematic universe. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I never wanna go home. Really. Oh, shut up! <laughs> you wanna jump to the end? They fucking beat him. There you go. <laughs> Dude, they, 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 they fucking crush him, uh, and his arm and little microchip get saved. <laughs> Anyways, he walks up. Nice night for a walk, eh? And then Arnold Schwarzenegger says it back, but he's not a Schwarzenegger. He's nice. A Night for a walk, <laughs> eh? And so they're like, this guy fucking sucks. He wants his clothes, of course, right? Yeah, the exactly. Fuck's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> and so they got their little blades or whatever, and they stab him, and he doesn't care about getting stabbed, and then he just starts fucking people up. Well, right, first Nick? he says the lab is like, your clothes, give them to me. Because he sees that the one guy, yeah, who, by match. the way, that guy's been a bad guy in a bunch of other yeah. shit, too. Yeah. I forget what he was in, but. But he's just, he's one of yeah, the many, okay. I just thought it was, he's it was one of the many <laughs> character <laughs> actors who yes. appear in this yes. as well. My favorite uh, coming up in a bit. But I love that. <laughs> He like fucks up one guy and then punches a hole through the other guy's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the dude who uh, he's like he like punches a hole through Bill Paxton's stomach and then he looks at the other guy and he's like, okay. Hey man, yeah, yeah. Need, man. Man. cool, brother. I what felt like I felt like legitimate fear when when the other guy is like <laughs> the final guy's there and He's like backed up. He's like, I have nowhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm so scared. You think right Terminator now. killed him? Like, yes. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I he gave him his clothes. I mean, yeah. he's like, you complied. Great, thanks. Yeah. No, I think Bill Paxton has a broken arm, and meanwhile, my friend has no torso anymore. <laughs> <laughs> she just ripped him in half. <laughs> I don't think he terminated him. They weren't mission critical. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, meanwhile, across LA, over in Skid Row, it looks like, but of course, this is 1984. All of LA looks like Skid Row. Uh, there it is. More of this fucking shit, right? And there's like a homeless guy. And he's like, what's going on? And guess what? It's Kyle Reese. He's been microwaved from the future. It's Michael right, B. And he's there. Hicks. And this is like the first thing you get, right? Is that's very interesting here is that, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger, when he came, you're like, oh man, time travel looks like a, ple a pleasant situation. like fun. Yeah, right? Good way to travel. And then Michael Bean gets dropped from like four feet in the yeah. air. He's naked. <laughs> he's, like, he's like throwing up and he's all like fucked up. I don't know if they did it in this one, but the, the effect that they manage in the second one is so cool. Where they cool. cut out the floor. Because it actually yeah, cuts yeah, out the, 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 the truck and all this other stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, in, in this one, it's cool. just the lightning. It's just lightning. I think yeah, yeah. it's still cool, especially oh, yeah. Yeah. the Terminator scene where it like cuts to him and he's like... That iconic pose. Where he's like, look at how great my glutes look in this shadow. So Michael Bean's there and he's all naked and he's all scars and he's got all stuff. Jen was quick to point out he's got like a butthole on his shoulder scar you know what I mean sure. gross he's got a lot of anus looking lazy. yeah he's got an anus thing. looking yeah. thing oh a butthole yeah, yeah. yeah. go home tonight yeah. and bend over and look in the mirror at your anus see, then yeah. watch the show again not th not this show the, the show movie. called the, the Terminator movie. yeah <laughs> a lot of religious Im imagery in this movie they put they, the scars were supposed to represent like angel wings and JC John Connor 
Jesus Christ. No, I never saw that before. That's cool. Uh, no, homeless guy's like, what the fuck? And Kyle Reese is like, give me those pants, you fucking dirty rob you, you dirty yeah. homeless bastard. <laughs> and of course, because LA is just so fucking protected, there happens to be a cop right at the time. Yeah. They flash their little light. And Kyle's like, eh. And the homeless guy's like, took my pants. And I have to imagine the cops would have just gone, all right, light back over here. Yeah, we don't have to do we any don't care. of this shit. You robbed the homeless guy, <laughs> we're fine. Yeah, exactly. But they're like, you know what? No, we're going to pursue. Yeah. It's a foot chase. Everybody's running. Everybody's Kyle's running, running like the Incredible Hulk, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> shit. And they're like <laughs> fucking making steals moves. Steals a dope ass. Like goes into the thing. Goes into steals the a dope store. ass pair of Nikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does the cool thing where he puts his feet. Was that weird product placement? Yeah. I think I don't know because it was that was bizarre for this. I movie. don't know. Yeah, I don't remember that particular brand of Nike, but it, they had the cool Velcro at the top, and they see him like like everything else is super don't focus on anything small except for this one shot where he puts his foot down. And yeah, yeah, like puts the Velcro on the Nike. I'm like, all right, maybe all they right. paid for it. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if they had that big of a budget to get someone to go out and do product placement, but that was a Nike. Nick said yeah, and then I was like, oh, it is, and he was like, I think I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, now that yeah, I'm backtracking because now that I'm like, I don't know if uh, uh, that small of a movie would have had yeah. someone that could have put that in place for him, but who knows? Maybe he gets the shoes, he gets the coat. He also got the cop's gun earlier. And don't forget that he steals his shotgun here too out of the cop car. Right? That was he's cool leaving. seeing him yeah, like yeah. sneaking out. Yeah, he gets out. He gets loose. You know what I mean? He's in the wind. The juice is loose. He's in the wind. The juice is loose. OJ, he was gonna be turning. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Wow. I'll be Fox. Thank you. <laughs> and so he's fast. in the wind or whatever, and the first okay. thing he goes is he goes to the, the phone booth, right? And he opens it up and then writes it. Because there used to be a thing called the Yellow Pages, Tim, yeah. where a phone Dude. book you could get. And in the, in the, they had these phones that just stood on the street called pay phones that you could get. And they were rotary, too. They were rotary phones, right? A lot of usage here. Exactly, exactly. And you could look up people and find out where they live and call them. Were there always pages to. missing? Oh, yes. that like, oh yes. yeah! Oh yeah! Oh always. yeah! Totally. Some yeah. asshole was always like, "No one's gonna need fucking Burt Miller's." Page. Well, that was back in the day. If you didn't want to be in the phone book, the only way to get out of the phone book was to go rip all the pages out of the phone book. Yeah. <laughs> <Every moment. laughs> Couldn't call. Uh, and then, so then we, yeah, we gotta jump over there, and it's Linda Hamilton riding her little motor scooter. Everybody, little it, this is how it was in LA in '84. You mm-hmm. go there now, Tim, and I know what you're thinking. Yeah. You're looking around. You're looking around. You're like, oh man, all these Teslas in four wheeled vehicles. No, no. Yeah. Back in then, all they in '84, all we, we we just came out of the gas crisis. Scooters. You remember this, right? You voted for Carter. You got 100%. us into it. We came out of the gas crisis. Nobody, everybody's like, you know what? Give me a fucking Camelback full of gasoline and a lawnmower. I'll go to work. Did you say a Camelback full of gasoline? <laughs> like the back. You're going to sip on it a little bit? <laughs> That's how you put it in the days. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She rolls up to Bob's big boy knockoff, whatever the fuck burger place. Lynn Kara's Hamill goes in there. She checks in. She's talking to her friends, setting up that she has friends. But she's late and she's there to work and she's a waitress and that's Sarah Connor. Waitress. Cool. What do you mean she's not going to wait? There's this scene where like the, she's like, "Who got this?" and, and like they're it's like, "We didn't like get a... this. We got these other things." And she's like, "But who got this?" <laughs> and <it> was like, <laughs> "Not us." And then this little asshole kid puts a scoop of ice cream in his thing, in the and then like, the dude that she's you, serving man. is like, "Yeah, that's what you get." <laughs> yeah. yeah. To be fair, we all would too. If she fucked oh, her order up that well, she's terrible like, at her job. Put more. Greg Miller, you would have done a lot better. Thank I did. you. I, I didn't know that you had, but who got this? <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that? So she legitimately was like, but, like, who, but who got, got the that thing? I was like, thing? Who got the there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people there. You know what I mean? Like, because like, one guy wanted coffee, another thing wanted their bill. We've all been there, all right? As someone who aspires to carry a tray <laughs> one day, you don't know what I think it's like out there, all right? You say that, but I would hate to be her people if with you were the price. person that didn't get the food that you ordered. What if, what yeah. if I, I would totally, if the service was good and she was trying. She was clearly trying. All right. She, I don't know that she was it's clearly trying. It's when we go to trying. Wild Wings and they're on fucking quaaludes and they're not taking care of us and <laughs> I, I'm done. They're fucking I'm here loading it up. And, and I am cool. going to be Scar. <laughs> let me pitch you. Let me pitch you on an idea for your restaurant. The lion. Okay. You're my hyenas <laughs> and I take care of you. Greg, I want to pitch you on an idea. Finally, real quick. good. Oh, I want to pitch go you on an idea for your restaurant. I fucking crush him. <laughs> it's a sci-fi themed restaurant called Miller's Planet. Yeah. Where it takes oh. you forever to get your food. <laughs> Just forever. You might never get it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No, I like that That's a lot. <laughs> One time. Guy All right. Buttons, yeah. Ask me about Can't even hear you. Yeah, we don't know what you're saying. <laughs> we don't. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Anyways, Arnold Schwarzenegger has the same fucking idea. I'm going to get a phone book, right? They all know about phone books. How did Kyle Reese know about phone book? Nobody knows. Hey, they knew what to do. He got the thing. He looks at it. He's like, all right, cool. There's a bunch of Sarah Connors here, too. He goes to a gun shop, right? He goes 
to a gun shop. And you might say, uh, Greg, you do the, the eye thing. If you're an audio listener, I've been doing this great bit where I'm like, wait a second, and I move my glasses like that. Big fan of it. And then you go, is that Murray Futterman from Gremlins selling him it some is. guns? It is. It fucking is. Fucking good pull. Dick Miller, what up, Murray Futterman? What Mr. Up, Futterman, Murray yeah, Futterman. yeah, yeah. He's there, and he's a complete moron. He's just handing Arnold Schwarzenegger not a gun great, after yeah, gun. Not a great <laughs> setup to put the shells right there where people yeah. can just do exactly you what he did. You can't do that. Hey, man, you can't do that. But this is 1984. No one thought of gun it. violence. We yeah. didn't know. You know sure, what I mean? We right didn't now, like, oh, you're going to hunt, huh? We've learned a lot of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, there's a lot of mountain lions in LA right now. Go get them. You know how, what I mean? How Any dope is that 45 be... that he gets, though? Oh, like my God, with the giant barrel. lens oh, on it. I love how he asks for a plasma rifle. I was going to say, great line in there where he's running down everything he wants and he asks for a plasma rifle. And I remember it. He was like, hey, man, just put what you got out there. Come on, man. Only what you see is what you get. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, ah, it's funny. I like that. You know what I mean? And that's a good one or whatever. I think sometime in here we get Kyle Reese. He's doing stuff. He's like, I'm in a coat. I'm good looking. I'm sure. Well, we get a shot where he he saws off the shotgun barrel. Right, right, right. So you get it. And also, he has like the bum's pants that he wears. While dirty are really really cool because they have they're like the ones you like Tim where it's got the little uh, elasticity on the bottom. Sweat pants, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who's the carbonies? At what scene uh, do we see the flashback? Was it the beginning of the movie? I can't remember. No, we haven't gotten. We it have yet. multiple like, flashbacks. Okay, cool. got, yeah, yeah, we keep going back. You're to talking about when he takes his nappy nap? I, I believe so. He's all he, he looks at a little little kid and the kid's like beep 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 and he's like beep, beep, beep. he pretends yeah. to like shoot. Yeah, we're not there yet. No. Okay, cool, cool. cool. Instead, Arnold Schwarzenegger has an arsenal. He's killed Murray. Uh, he rolls up on this woman's house. We're like, oh, my God, whose house is this? What's going to happen, right? No and he one. knocks on the door. Yeah, it's, oh, fuck, it's such a great scene. Knocks on the door, and she's and she puts a little chain there because we used to think chains could stop bad guys. Puts a little chain there. She's like, hello? We and he's like, Santa and, and she's like, yeah. And he's just fucking yeah. the door open. The door now, open. I'm going to say this right now to anyone. Her 15 times. If someone that looks like that shows up at your door, Andy, and knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Huh? Are you a 6'3", 380 pounds of muscle punk? Yeah. Uh, Andy Cortez? Uh, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm not. So. He's gone. I don't know where he went. You know what? He's never coming back. See you later. Run. So now, this woman's dead. Yeah, she's mm. iced. We go back dead. to the Not only does he kill her, he fucking empties a clip into her skull. It's good. Gotta, gotta be sure. You gotta it's be sure. 80s, yeah. it's she 80s, can't have a baby if she's dead. A-team sound. Either that or you're like, Sarah Connor, and you're like, I fucking killed her. <laughs> like, high oh, five. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you. He powers down. <laughs> yeah. Here, here's my real question. This is what I always thought about. What was his plan after he killed her? What do you think he was going to do? That was his mission. He's, he's done. But then Jump in a volcano. Do? Yeah. There's no coming back. Run I mean, I, I don't think he had. I mean, like, you know. He just stay. He just goes, well, I'm just going to chill I mean, in this garage I, we, for 20 years till the machines take over and I'll rejoin my people. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, probably. Actually, that's probably. He probably wasn't going to go into like power save mode. That chill makes out, sense, I guess. And wake up, go back to his robot wife and kid. You know what I mean? Job done. Kids at home, like, where's dad? Where's dad at? He's smoking a robot <laughs> cigarette. <laughs> the kid? He, was, dad. he went out for robot milk and never came home. <laughs> Technically, they would never know. He'd just walk right Is back that in. Oil? Back, <laughs> back at Bob's Big Boy though. knockoff place. Sarah's friend's like, Sarah, you gotta see this. And brings her, like, you're fucking dead, guy. <laughs> and Sarah's like, oh, I'm dead. Ooh, what, what a weird douchey, fucking thing like, to do. Weird, yeah. Morbid I can thing see to make it happening though. If another Tim Gettys got killed, Kevin would be all like, "Tim, come here." Also, get like to that, work. Though. There's kids fucking putting ice cream scoops in people's dresses. That was earlier in you the mid. This is this a is slow like getting moment. ready to go out. Now. Do you understand? No, no, they're human the beings too, the Andy. Next time your Manhattan ramen doesn't come as fast as you want it, hey, you Morofuku. Fucking... That's what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, big time, <laughs> big time New York City ramen. I hate you and your stockbroker ways. You're always wearing that striped blue shirt fucking with the the white collar and the red scum. tie. Fuck off with your goddamn suspenders. <laughs> Earlier you were like, yeah. Yeah, it's called making an investment, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> What's this thread we're talking <laughs> 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 All right, now where we go? Kyle Reese is next to a, a little machine plant. Uh, like they're doing a construction work. This is where number one crane operator mm -hmm. Greg Miller would be, and it's there because you don't know it, but you, the subtext, of course, right? Is it's just too quiet in 1984 mm -hmm. for big old Kyle. You know what I mean? He can't be without the sound of machines and warfare. That's what Hard he's grown thing. up on, right? And this is where we get our first flashback, mm. not our last. Our first flashback mm. to now he's out there doing a patrol, right? And they got hunter killers up in the air. They got the big old machines rolling through, and he's running with somebody. I don't know. A vast Is this where the tractor, know. like if the camera pans down, and there's rocks underneath the tractor, and then it switches over to skulls? That sounds right. Yeah. yeah. That was a really cool transition. I appreciate I really liked it. that the, the Terminator, 
and they call these things the hunter killers. Yeah. They're like, Hunter, not good enough. Killer? No. Mm -mm. Well, I don't know if you understand. When Cyberdon was like, let's go sentient, they weren't like, let's be a bunch of Poindexters, all right? Yeah, like, no, what no, do no. the humans right. fuck up? Bad names, you know what I mean? <laughs> Macintosh, Lisa, iPhone, keyboard. Like, Mono, we're hunter Lisa, killers, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We what? can fucking shoot lasers. Wait, were the hunter killers? The hunter killers were the, the flying the, ones. The flying ones. Yeah. What were the tank ones called? Do we know? I don't remember. Nobody says. I, don't know. I imagine those were also future, hunter future killers. Tank? Maybe. Maybe, maybe that's killers. what he meant. Those are the hunters. These are the killers. These are explosive Who destroyers. Knows? But either way, they're getting. This is the one where they they try to take the treads out, right? Yeah, and it works. But it's the one like woman gets like destroyed, right? Yeah. She gets like evaporated. And, and then I was like, Ugh. I feel like he gets in a car at this point, and then the car flips over, and he almost burns to death. And yeah, then and then he wakes up. up. <laughs> and like, he, anybody does, he immediately cocks the gun, right? Yeah. He has the shotgun. <laughs> Fuck that was that scene was scary because I was like, damn man, like how the fuck did you get out of that? It's just fucking flames all the car. He just. But did I think that was a nightmare. I don't was think it was it? a flashback as much as a nightmare for oh. us to see because he what had, it was like on the other side. Because he had burn marks mm. on him. Well, he's definitely been burned before. I don't think he got out of this oh, okay. situation okay. in particular. Okay. This mm. is his you think he died nightmares. In the I do. I do think he did. I thought I thought all these were just flashbacks of shit that happened. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was a flashback. I, I got a feeling it was a flashback. Future. But again, he's engulfed in Flash flames. Nah, like, yeah, he, he really would have died. He would look like Deadpool then this entire movie if that was a Tim Miller directing the next one. True. Oh, my God. He fucking got you. Do you think he saw this and was like, if he had been burned... He would look like this ball sack, and, and then he went to Marvel, Greg. and he's like, "Here's a pitch," Greg. and they were like, "We don't want it," and he walked out. But somebody at Marvel, Stanley, probably was like, "You know what? We do want it," and they're like, ha, 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 and they all high five and shit. And then some they gave it to whoever created Deadpool. I don't know, Rob Layfield, I think actually. And then like he made it, and then Tim Miller was like, "This sucks," and Tim Miller traveled in time to make Deadpool and then the new Terminator. No, fuck. Kind of put a hole in my plan. I there. feel like I re I'm responsible for that one, so I'm sorry. Guys. <laughs> Let's go to the Los Angeles Police Department where no one's ever been racist. <laughs> All right, we're there, <laughs> and we got two cops, and just, they're hard, they're yeah, hard, they're yeah. hard, and they're just smoking grits. Yeah, this was 1984. Smoking heaters, baby. I love it. Don't you just totally. love it? God. One of the cops, movies. a total dick to the other cop. He's the other cop just wanted to impress him. Yeah, well, he's the boss. You know what I mean? I he's like just it. trying to get his. Yeah, the the guy Lance Hendrickson is the guy that gets the shit Everybody's on. Everybody's sweaty because he's bringing him the dossier <laughs> and saying, "Hey, wait, right, we right. got we got two files the same name," and, he's, and the guy finally realizes, "Oh shit, there's." Someone but right there before that, him. it was like, "Is something I don't see?" And it's like, "Yeah, but just wait, me, like I haven't gotten there." I, I, and also, real quick, I would like to see the other Sarah Connor get iced. Yeah, just put we it never out there. saw. It. I, I was going to ask. I was like, "Did Off I miss that part where she gets come killed?" You know what I mean? It's very weird. I will say I this didn't though. Need that. How, yeah, how fun does it look like? Did you get it? Kev, I'm going to direct Clearly. this question toward you. I'm listening. How awesome would it be to just hang out in that police precinct back then, wear the suspenders, the gun holster yeah. here, and just, just stir coffee and smoke cigarettes all day? <laughs> Doesn't that sound awesome? It sounds awesome. Just And when people go to hand you things, be like, no, yeah. I don't want that thing that you're going to give me. Do you think that that cop was then shitty to other cops? I think that cop died oh, very, very quickly. Oh, no, I know, but I'm just saying, like, because I feel oh, like. Oh, you think the, Lance the, Henderson the, the, had to pay it forward? To, like, yeah, right? Next, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It was and like a fraternity. It was a bad cycle. Terrible. You know? But they both smoked, and it was cool. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was cool. I skipped it. Me before that, uh, Sarah and Rumi were getting ready for a hot night out. Mm -hmm. They were both going out for dates. Well, one of them wasn't really going out. They were just there, and blah, blah, blah. They're doing And the one girl, just obsessed with music. You know what I mean? I like, it. you got to wonder her backstory. Did, she like, uh, did she grow up in, was there an, an incident at home? Where there was domestic violence and a shotgun got fired too close to her ear, she constantly had tinnitus, so she has to listen to music all the time now. Otherwise, she can find no joy. I go the opposite way. Earliest sexual experience was with headphones on, and from that point on, she that just gets has her going. Yeah. That gets her going. Yeah. Yeah. just want to be a dancer. Okay, cool. Well, she can't hear the phone ring. Sarah answers it. It's the boyfriend who I think might be the Slider guy from Top Gun. Oh shit! Okay, then yeah. that makes Remember sense. the volleyball scene? He's the guy who plays. I do, this. I do. Then that's not the same guy oh, for me. I don't think at all. Scene. I don't think for me yeah. at all. Um, and he's all talking dirty, and Sarah's like, "Ha ha ha! I'm gonna get the girl." And the I girl's like, "Ha ha ha ha!" Yeah, that, that was, was a weird, weird. kid. Well, but that was later. That was yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. Again, then, then they then they come back, and then uh, they come out, and they're all dolled up. And that's when we get a phone call. We finally check the messages. Her stupid stockbroker boyfriend, probably an Andy type, didn't come. You know, oh, can't come out tonight, Sarah. Sorry, I'll make it up to you. I swear. Busy making investments. I gotta make investments and buy more suspenders and shirts <laughs> that have different colored collars. And he, she's like, oh, this sucks. And the other girl's like, you don't deserve, or he doesn't deserve you. Not the other way around. That doesn't make sense. And then like, ah, oh, you know, and, the, and so it's just there's it, it's much going worse on over this. here. This is just going on. You know uh -huh. what I mean? And so then back at the police station, they're like, let's make the press work for us. We're getting out of front of this we're going to talk about Smart. the Sarah the Sarah Connor thing and like we haven't contacted the other Sarah Connor we're trying but no one's answering the phone over there cuz they're all listening to music and weird shit ding ding ring a ding ding Tim pick it up it's the cops the other Tim Gett
Kevin's the killer. You just fell for it. You know what yeah. I mean? Wow. Kevin's That's icy. Bitch. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Sarah go- is going to go out. She's going to take care of herself. She's going to go see a movie, but inexplicably, she goes for pizza instead. Uh, and then, yeah, the guy kisses her on the face, and then the- he goes inside, and you know this guy's about to fuck. I don't know why you think that's so weird. There's plenty of times when you're not around. I just kiss Gia right on the cheek. I, I hate you so Just right on the cheek it's and maybe like a little bit on the neck. He starts talking yeah. immediately. I, I, it's like, you might as well have just said the end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when Sarah rolls off her property, Kyle Reese is there, and he's, he's in his, his stone car, and he's like, I stole this car. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my God. <laughs> Are you good or bad? I can't tell. And so he slowly starts tailing her. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, then, like, these two are fucking over here. The cops can't talk. They're going to send somebody over there, and they're out there, like, waiting for her, but then, like, they can't find her. So then they well, they could take off. The cop takes off because something bad happens, and that's when Terminator shows up, and he's all like, I'm the fucking Terminator. And so uh, the the couple, they had sex, right, as you do in every yeah. 80s movie. Yeah. And then the girl's just starving now. And so she goes in, again, has to listen to her music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is her thing. Right? Yeah. That's and weird. what does she make? She makes a sandwich, right? But then she gets something. There's something else she does that's weird. I remember. It was I don't remember anymore. But it was weird where it was just like there was peanut butter involved with stuff that it, that was. That's what Jen and Lucy said too. Celery, it was celery, celery peanut butter, which I, I fuck with that. Yeah. But it was celery peanut butter, but then also like a sandwich that should not have went with that those tastes. I don't trust Dude, her. When you when you come, like. You just, Your taste buds might Also, change. don't think about Everything it this way, changes. too. Pregnancy cravings. We're not sure. Was she on the pill? Were You're they right. trying? You're right. Was he wearing a condom? Right. Mm-hmm. And that can start to add insemination. It's the 80s. You know like what I mean? Like, suddenly she's exactly. eating buffalo wings and fucking shrimp A baby cheese. falls out. Baby falls out. <laughs> Whoa, like, that these wings mine. are so good. They and then the water baby. breaks. <laughs> like, warm <laughs> order. Then the baby somehow graduates college. Um... Back at the pizza place, uh, Sarah sees on TV like, "Oh fuck!" The other another Sarah Connor's head, and like they wanted the old guys wanted to turn it off, and she screams at him, and they all take it really weird. But she also doesn't explain. They take anything. it weird. Yeah. She did she, it. Yeah, weird. she did it really weird, and everyone's just like, "No, what? And don't she do just that!" Runs away. I mean, I don't know, Tim. When when you, uh, when two Tim Gettys are dead on TV, you tell me how you'll take it. All right. Also, just a fun we, thing to do in a bar. Just run in, don't change it, and then run out. See yeah. how long. Just, just peer through the window, like how long is it gonna take till they change the channel? <laughs> so she tries to call home. The, home, the, the it's the message machine again, as usual. Like, they're all listening music, and they're yeah, they were fine. This is all out of contact. Is he fucking, of, am matter. I crazy? Right? He like puts she, like he puts the things on her ears while he's banging her. No, I, think I mean, you're I don't crazy. think she ever took him off. That. You know no, no, no. I think she she stops fucking him, gets up, goes to the bathroom. And then puts them on back on, and then starts goes to and cook something. I love the world in which Nick went into his old fantasy land. No, I like, swear to God, I think it, I think as yeah. they're having sex, he puts the the headphones on her, and then she just continues. That to work. doesn't sound familiar, but Scroll like I, I don't doubt that it was in it. <laughs> I'm scrolling. We have we have the Amazon technology from what I want. By. I wanted I stand wanted by. the Terminator's most yeah, infamous catchphrase. Right I'll be back was originally written as I'll come back. We're not there yet. in the script. Afterward, the script was changed and the line, I will be back, was considered. As Schwarzenegger thought it sounded more robotic. He also thought the contraction, I'll, was too womanly. What? <laughs> yeah, he was really weird. <laughs> An argument oh, ensued between him and Cameron until the director finally got his way and the rest is right history. Schwarzenegger only has 58 spoken words <laughs> in the movie. Anyone Technically, the Terminator says more than the 17 sentences, but uh, one is an overdubbed voice of a cop and the other is Sarah Connor's mother's voice. Awesome. Those things are cool. Those yeah, really always cool. terrified really cool. me. And then too, the final, the final fact for you is Cameron's voice can be heard three times in the film. He speaks twice on Sarah's answering machine as the manager of the Tiki Motel. Later, when the Terminator calls Sarah, Cameron answers the phone. Also, Cameron's Dirty German man. Shepherd Wolfie can be seen at the Tiki oh, Motel Wolfie. about fifteen minutes into the film, which is a fun fact for. That's it. Yeah, for later. Too. That's interesting. I didn't know that. That's a good fact. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, we're not sure who's wearing headphones and who's not. I, I don't think. Was there a sex scene with them? Because it 100%. looks like. Okay. Um, so Terminator comes in through the sliding glass door. Mm-hmm. The guy's like, "What the fuck?" And he's like, "You're fucking dead." And they, they start fighting or whatever. She's Brave man. Through. Like after he got like his ass beat yeah. and like thrown through thrown the wall, super far. he got up like, oh, I want some gotta more. Got to protect. He's got to yeah. protect. Dude, cool. so I would have just been like, run! Like everybody, get out of here. This is not a human. You'd be dead. I'm fast, dude. No, but I mean, if you went through, if Terminator put you through a wall, yeah, you know he, what I mean? Yeah. Nah, my back muscles are crazy. Oh no shit! Way. Sorry. Okay. Rubbing. And he's been doing a lot of uh, Tybo. Yeah. 
and Typo. Uh, so yeah, they're pretty crazy. That guy's daddy's all bloody and naked. <laughs> he fucking Terminator kills the, uh, the headphones girl because he's like, this must be Sarah Connor. I'm in the right Shoots house or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then while this happens, Sarah Connor calls. She's like, hey, kiddo. I'm like, fuck, it's Sarah. Hey, I'm like, it's ah, Sarah. fuck, it's not. Yeah. And Terminator's like, fuck, I did it again. But <laughs> she's like, literally, come get me at Tech Noir. Oh, Sarah left the bar. Kyle Reese was following her, uh, her pizza place. Went into Tech Noir. They wanted to cover. That'll be important. Uh, how did Kyle Reese pay? We don't know. How did Kyle Reese get all that money? We don't know. Uh, Remember, he has the wad. He's resourceful. Huh? He's, got a, he's got wads of money. He's also out so there now robbing, walk back robbing to the second thing bumps. I just said. I don't know what it was. How did he get all that money? He stole we it. We don't know. He stole it. We don't know. No, he for sure stole it. Remember he was in a shopping center? <laughs> uh, we, we just, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, yeah, so now we're in techno. Oh, no, I'm in techno. Okay. And then Sarah calls the cops and she's like, don't hang on me. Don't transfer me. Like, I've seen none of this. I've been watching this entire movie, miss, and I've never seen any of these things happen to you. Don't cry wolf. Anyways, the cops like, no, we know it's you. We're coming. Well, we'll she thinks she's there. being chased we'll by Kyle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. We'll have people there in a jiffy. I thought we established that already. Get so, stop getting so hung up on it, all right? All right? All right. yeah, you said we God. saw Kyle, but we didn't. We, she sees him and notices that he's, he's there. He's looking creepy as shit. You're looking Kevin's eyes. Greg, Greg bite his face. Shark's eyes. Bite his fucking face. Now, Kevin would bite back hard. <laughs> it's uh, so it's like, okay. And the guy's like, don't worry. We're going to have cops there in a jiffy. And she's like, good. Sweet bang tootie. We got this one done. You know what we I mean? got done in Sweet the tootie. Sweet bang tootie. <laughs> she's like, I'm just going to sit here and chillax for a while. Uh-huh. Uh, and while Boom. she's sitting there, right? Weird catch. Oh, yeah, you're right. right. She's you. definitely wearing headphones while they're wow. boning. Who wears headphones no, while did, they're bagging? Did he but put them on her? I no. thought that was what we were He, he, tur- he turned up the volume on, yeah. on her. Sorry. Okay, cool. He okay. So he could hear him too. It was an sure. audio session. Was audio buzz. Um, so while she's sitting there just chillaxing, like, she looks bang. over. Kyle Reese is at the bar. She's like, oh shit, it's that guy. Meanwhile, she doesn't even understand in the back or the front. Terminator's coming in. He didn't pay the cover. The woman tries to stop uh, him. Annie Lennox tries to stop him. And she's like, God, he didn't pay the cover. And he, yeah, he just nails that guy. That guy's down. And it's like, here we go. Big time and everybody. It's all about to happen. Terminator's like doing the thing. He's like looking around. And then and Sarah conveniently like knocks her fucking cup over or whatever. And she looks down. And so then this woman's just dancing. And Terminator looks over and it's not her. And it's like, okay. Here He's we looking go. through his fucking virtual boy eyesight. It's like, I, I, like, see, I, I don't like see anything. It, dude. I like it. That so shit's blood. so hard to see. I love it. Infrared. <laughs> It's all red, though. No, it's just red, red. yeah. <laughs> He's got and some spots vision. are, like, incredibly dark. He's got like, oh, how do you make out You don't know what it's like to be a computer, all right? Yeah. Uh, and so, finally, she pops her head back up. Terminator's like, fucking done in the bank. He walks over there. He draws his gun. He points at her, and she just stares at it forever. She knows she's being hunted. Dude walks up with a gun pointed at her. She's like, if you're an audio listener, I'm just staring. Yeah, he's just staring. But he's also kind of listing backward a little bit. Yeah, well, like, like, that's how she did it, man. Like he's got an electric how she did now it. he doesn't have like you know, mo, so. engines anymore. Exactly. Oh yeah, no, that's good. No, that's good. Um, yeah. and so yeah, like okay, Terminator's about to shoot her, and guess what? Kyle Reese comes up and he pushes people out of the way because he's here and he blasts the Terminator. Terminator's like ah, Terminator goes down, and she's like, what's happening? And Kyle Reese runs over and he, he goes, come with me if you want to live, and it's awesome. Cool. It's cool. fucking so awesome. good. Fucking good. And so he pulls her up, but Terminator's back up, and there's they, he shoots him some more. And Terminator's just fucking taking it, and then he gets over to the glass, and he gets shot there, right? And he like, does a great stunt too here, where like, and this I, it's it's so eighties, where like he's getting shot at, and he just dies over the bar. Yeah, he's yeah. just like fucking, yeah. like oh man, that would hurt so bad if you landed the wrong way. But it's a great scene. This scene used to terrify me when I was young. Oh sure, because it's so tense until the shit goes down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they escape out the back of the Techno Art Club and they're running in the alley or whatever. And then they wait for him, or Kyle oh, throws up in the door of the car and waits for him. And the Terminator comes out and he shoots the gas tank and it explodes and burns the Terminator. And you're like, all right, this is done. Thank God. And they get in the car. It's Movie's not over. done. Yeah. It's not done. Mm-hmm. Andy, There's guess plenty what? More, Greg. Now you got an Arnold Schwarzenegger with no eyebrows. Right. Scary. Motherfucker is terrifying. Terrifying. scarier. Mm-hmm. And this is where we get to the thing you were talking about with the punch into the glass tonight yeah. and the hydraulics, hydraulics or whatever. Hydraulics, man. I added the hydraulics. That was an interesting hydraulic cut because like, I, I thought it looked weird when it cut. To his hand. They had to do something, man. No man can punch through a windshield. Uh, they drive away, right? They and they're able to like, th- throw them off, but cops are there and they're getting chased. This is your first. You said uh, under the, the bridge, you get a lot of exposition here of t- Kyle laying it out there, right? Of what's going on. In the car. I'm the, from the fucking future. Parking. That's a fucking cyborg. You're going to have the John Connor baby. It's going to be a big deal. He's going to, we got to, I got to do this. We got to protect you. I'm not crazy. You You think I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. He is he crazy? Said. We'll have to find out in a little bit. We're talking a lot about apocalypses here. Let me tell you about our sponsors, Greg. Yeah. First sponsor, Escape the Invasion. If you ever wondered what you'd do if you found yourself in the middle of a post-apocalyptic world that's been ravaged by a deadly virus and 
afflicted by aliens? If you have, this is the game for you. This is from the makers of Hunt a Killer, the popular true crime mystery subscription game. They call this one Escape the Invasion, the sci-fi game where you are a survivor on a rapidly dying Earth after an alien invasion. It's essentially an escape room, but you get to do it in your own living room, Andy. You don't, oh. need, to, you don't need to go anywhere. I know oh, you don't like going gosh, places. That's meant for me. So you he get to play this. to Manhattan Ramen. Um, my friend Curran and, and a couple of his friends have played the Hunter Killer one. They're excited. I'm hooking them up with the Escape the Invasion so they get all that. Jen and I do Hunter Killer. Oh, yeah? Yep. What are your experiences with it's it? It's very, very fun. It's good. You get a bottle of wine. You, put, you try to hunt these killers. Mm-hmm. It's a great time. You don't get the wine with it, but like you, well, no, you I get I buy the, the wine. Yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah. But what do you get? You get the box? You get the box. There's a whole bunch of different clues in there. There's newspaper cutouts. You got to figure out who the killer is. It's like it's like it's like you, you got somebody who loves true cl- crime or those kind of mysteries. This is a fun way to do that. Oh, I saw you. I think, were you posting about this? Maybe oh, no. yeah. When I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they send you the box. There's a whole bunch of physical clues and stuff, paperwork you got to look at. And it, there's a whole storyline going on with this one, Escape the Invasion. And uh, every month they send you a different box with different clues, keeping the storyline going. You can play it, have fun. Uh, right now, just for you guys, you can go to escapetheinvasion.com slash morning for 20% off your first box. That's escapetheinvasion.com slash morning for 20% off your first box. Escapetheinvasion.com slash morning. Andy? Can you survive the alien apocalypse? Thank you. Also, shout out to Manscaped. Support for Kind of Funny Morning Show comes from Manscaped, who is number one in men's below-the-belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Halloween's right around the corner, and you don't want to spook someone with your scary bush, Nick. You might be Chewbacca, Bigfoot, or a hairy bear, but it's what's under the costume that really matters. It's true. Yeah? Yeah. You ever have Manscaped any... right now, truth be told. Yeah. God, you ever yeah. have any issues manscaping in the past? <laughs> I've, I've, let's, uh, how graphic can I get? Uh, you can get graphic. I've gotten like graphic. Once or twice, I've, uh, I've nicked the boys the down sack. there. And it's, nicked uh, the little Nickies. You remember those. It's scary. I don't remember. I, I, I've cracked a rib. I've broken fingers before. Don't remember those at all. But when you nick your boys down there, man, you see Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be that hairy guy. <laughs> Manscaped is forever changing the grooming game with their Perfect Package 2.0. Inside the Perfect Package, you'll find their electric trimmer called the Lawnmower 2.0. This waterproof and skin safe technology will protect you from nicking your pumpkins. And of course, let's not forget about the Crop Preserver, an anti chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. You've been moisturizing your balls, Andy? I've been using the ball wipes a lot. The ball uh, wipes, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah? yeah, you know? I love them because it's like. During the day here, I always use the, uh, I don't know if we could say the brand names, but I use Neutrogena face wipes, mm-hmm. and I was like, let me just do the balls too, man. You're like, why can't my balls be as fresh as my face? Yeah, exactly. It makes j- sense. You know, we, we, I get it, we're, bro. we're all busy around here, so let me just clean off for a little bit, you know? It's time to get clean and mean with this perfect package 2.0. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MORNING at manscaped.com. Stay sexy this Halloween. Your balls will Thank you. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MORNING at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code MORNING. So we've got the Terminator off the car now. We're running from the cops now because, of course, these LAPD people, they don't understand everything that's happening yet, and they never will, sadly. And so eventually they they swing into a parking garage. They get out of their car. They get in another car, and they lay low in that car, right? we got to just chill out. we got to wait out the fuzz. And Sarah, I'll tell you a whole bunch of stuff. And Sarah, you know, she goes back and forth between believing this and not believing this, even though she just saw a man get shot a whole bunch and have no eyebrows and see coming out. I after. felt like she believed it. They still Later, there's a psychologist that tries to, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, oh, Dr. Silverman. Oh. Wow. Yeah, no future Yeah, let's continue. Uh, so they're just chilling and arguing and stuff, and the cops are like, oh, it's over here, whatever, and they're looking around, and they radio, and uh, Schwarzenegger, the Terminator, has stolen a cop car at this point, so he's getting the radio dispatches, and they're like, oh, we, you know, it's in the parking garage. And he's like, got it. He drives over there, and so he's going around now, and eventually he sees them, and they're like, oh, fucking they go, and they start driving, and they're just driving, 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 and they're shooting at each other, and like then it's just like a shotgun for shotgun battle between Reese and Ter- it was just shot for shot. Nobody's getting hit by any of these shotguns. I mean, Making shotguns look really not like a great weapon. You know, pellets disappear like after five feet. That's true. I heard they just become nothing. Yeah, you know what I mean. They lose all momentum and yeah, just fall. That's not true. They Don't become shoot a dubs. shotgun. They become five dubs. Feet away. Uh, they keep going, they keep shooting or whatever, right? And then finally, like, they have a really weird plan to, to slam the Terminator into a wall, but it works. I forget what it was anymore or how they did it anymore, right? But they're just like, drive, drive, well, drive. And then, like, she, like, cuts the wheel and just stops and you just, 
Yeah, because she he was like, you got to drive so I can shoot out the yeah, window. Yeah. He didn't realize they were going toward the wall, and so Sarah makes the game time decision to like cut the wheel and hit the brake. I just feel like a Terminator. I, like, I think she's like, in a million decisions at a second. In red. But I think, all he, of red. I think he realized that if they Sarah. hit the wall, they're dead. So he just kept going with them. Mm, it was, yeah, it was it slams a, into the wall. Because it was a red light, he just didn't know it. This is why turn on the red light. This is why machines shouldn't play in Vegas, right? They just don't take the risks when they need to. Because I've been like, this is dumb. This is also one of those weird moments where I, I get why it, a little bit later, but still, you would think that he would just get out of the car, kill all the cops, and kill them and be done. But we get it, like, yeah, he's a little so malfunctioning, but, like, they then we sma- see him walk into a fucking police station and murder everyone. You're like, you think he could have probably just gotten out and shot everyone? He gets smashed into the wall, right? Yeah, and so then uh, Kyle and Sarah try to leave, and then it's like their car's not working as well, and he's ready to fight all these cops that show up, and she's like, no, don't do it. They'll kill you. No, I don't mean Kyle. I mean the Terminator. I know. I'm yeah. getting there. So he gets out, and Sarah gets out, and then they go to the car, and yeah, the Terminator's gone. Then they go to the j- jail. Terminator goes back to his little shitty apartment that he has or whatever. And he's got like this thing that he enters the fire escape through, but he's clearly been there for a while. Doesn't matter. He's he got just has a, a one bedroom efficiency. He's, he's like, I need, I need, did he, yeah, he, I, you assume he's just it's a flop house. He's taken over, but he's got exacto knives in there and shit. It's like, all right, cool. He's ready. He, he goes in there. He cuts open his arm. He fixes it because yeah, the arm was all fucked up. He cuts out his eye. That's all fucked up. That's when he's like, it's again, now scene. it's personal. Yeah, it's terrible, terrible, yeah, terrible. Prop, I hate all practical this. effects. But hey, yeah. you know what I mean. Better than that's the, cool. Yeah. No, but like the scene where he actually takes it out, yeah. like yeah, that was I, that was a strong scene. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and that's interesting because like this was this is where you see this and a few effects that are coming later are really where you see like the budget needed to be way yeah. bigger at this way moment. Bigger. And I get why he did it. You need to see the wow factor of of the exoskeleton underneath the eye. And back in the day, it was cool, but you still would. Even when I was a kid, I was like, that looks so fake. That does not look good. Just and it's unfortunate head. because. There's another effect that comes up later in the movie where he uh, is actually, I think he has some of the, the the face showing with the eye going through it, and it looks way better. I don't know why. Maybe it just didn't look good in close-ups. I don't know. I thought from here on out, it, his face just looked horrible. I feel like mm-hmm. they should have just done something that accentuated the robot parts more than putting a whole layer of face over his face. Yeah. I don't know. But like that's also why you know he puts on the glasses and Those then dope ass go. glasses, yeah. yeah. The glasses did help a bit. Except for in the shot where you can clearly see both his eyes. There's that. there's one shot where it show like it's a close up of him wearing the glasses and you can just see his normal eyes yeah, underneath and yeah. it's like ah oh. maybe back light that better. We only had one K. We didn't. They weren't worried about the four sure, Ks yet. Sure. That's true. Uh, uh, back at the police I mean, station, yeah, Kyle true, Reese then. is being interrogated. He's laying it all out for these uh, these doctors, these police mm-hmm. officers, mm-hmm. right, Doctor mm-hmm. Silverman, and he's like. Terminator's Judgment Day. I'm here. Uh, this is that. See, so uh, Doctor Silverman's giving him a bunch of dick questions, right? But I mean, legit questions too. I'm like, you know, like I'm why? Did you, why didn't you come know. back with a future gun? Why didn't you do that? He's like, it's only organic. This is more exposition, cool. right? Of like how this whole thing works. Again, my only other problem with the movie is this point where he's like, okay, he's like, why didn't you come back with a, with a future gun that could kill this thing? He goes, only organic things can make it through. That's why he had to go through Buck naked. But then he's like, well, what about this Terminator? He goes, oh, it's okay. He's got skin, skin. over. A so he just thing. the gun. So if, yeah, I was fun. gonna say if I just took a plasma <laughs> rifle <laughs> and shoved it straight up right the in there, hole, yeah, like I could have got it back, right. or maybe kill the cat and stuffed it in there, and then just brought the cat oh, back with me. Oh shit, that's really smart. You know, but like, then you have like a fly situation where the cat would just be a growth on your body. I don't. Mm. Oh yeah, you but you got a cool that. laser gun, so I think it makes it better. You know, yeah, it just that <laughs> that's one of the the also, rare flaws in logic here that I was like, ah, that doesn't. We should have left that out. We don't know if they had. Cats. They definitely had dogs. They have dogs. Yeah, and like, German no shepherds. one's gonna do that to a dog. I'm just like, a, up, a spare I mean? human body lying around. There's billions of people that are dead. <laughs> yeah, there's so many dead bodies. Like, that guy's dead. <laughs> yeah, give give me Frank. Frank, get over here. The future Cut his head Nick. off. Shove the gun in. Problem solved. Come back with him. Both of you are buck naked. The cops find you, and you're like, the it's the the homeless person did it. And they're like, why, why do you have a dead body next to you? I have a gun inside of him. And then you put <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Yeah. In the body, lift the body up, shoot the guy through the body. Yeah. God, really cool. Antonio uh, Banderas did that. It, it turns out they've been, it's been, they were watching this interrogation clip. Silverman's there with the officers and Sarah, and he's talking shit about Reese and how crazy he is. And Kyle Reese starts flipping out, trying to stress how situ- oh, situ- situation. And they pause it, and Sarah's like losing it. And like you said, uh, doctor's trying to get in Sarah's head. No, but right? I, love, I love this scene because he's like, what he says at the end right before they pause is he's, he looks up at the camera and he's like he'll, he'll never stop he'll never sleep he'll just keep coming until he kills her you don't fucking understand and then the guy like pauses it because he realizes it's a little too intense for Sarah Connor who's like yeah. freaking the fuck yeah. out in the corner he's talking yeah. about her but he's just like you like because he knows that they're why he's like just fucking he's not gonna stop and they're like yeah. this guy's crazy it's great was this guy in, in a lot of other movies in the 80s Michael Bean yeah he was in Aliens as Hicks uh, yeah. and then he actually ended up being what else was in um, The Rock uh, he was in The Rock like- not an 80s film. Um, 
Navy SEALs, which was fucking great. Tombstone. Then Tombstone. Oh, tombstone. Yeah. okay, yeah. I'll be and I think he had some uh, drug and alcohol problems that killed his career, but oh, he was pretty he was pretty hot shit for a second. Uh, so they were like, this is fucked up shit. Sorry, Sarah, come nap on this couch. It's very comfortable. All right, cool, thanks. You know what I mean? You'll be it safe very here. Comfortable. And they're like, this is body armor. See, this is why he was yeah, wearing yeah. this. He, you know, you take a shot and not go down like this guy. If this guy shows up, there's 30 cops in this building that'll protect you. And it's he like, punched great. through a window. I PCP. So PCP. Yeah, 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 exactly. Probably on PCP. He'll be feeling it. Broke every hand, boner's hand. He'll feel it in an hour. How <laughs> thick were windows? This might have been before they had breakaway windows. Because it's like the early 80s. You know what I mean? Like now they have the windows you smash them. They, they, they shatter. spider or they shatter. Yeah. Maybe these were just plate glass. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, then it's like, all right, cool. We got Dr. Silverman's like, I can have a whole career about this. Put that in your, your memory cap later. Um, so he's getting ready to walk out, but he gets beeped, so he looks down at his thing, and then somebody uh, somebody else comes in. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, he comes out, and he's then leaving, Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. comes in. I'm trying to. Yeah. I, I remember yeah. they, they do it so Silverman doesn't see him. Anyways, uh, Silverman leaves. Schwarzenegger comes in. He goes to the glass. He's like, I'm here to see my friend Sarah Connor. Can I see her? And the guy's like, no, I'm a dick. I'm a dick cop. I'm giving cops a bad name. This is why Cool Greg doesn't like cops, and it sucks. Right. Um, and Schwarzenegger's like, and, and, like well, and they won't work, and he just goes, I'll be back. Well, he looks around and he goes, I'll be back. And then he leaves. And then it's a little bit of time, right? He has silver moment, more time to get away. And then guess what? <laughs> Schwarzenegger drives a fucking car in the wind and kills that fucking guy. Really bad but dummy. <laughs> dummy in the thing that goes Still down. Terrifying Still terrifying to young Scarpino yeah. yeah. when I was a kid. I was like, Still oh my terrifying. God, like, why couldn't you just shoot him? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I guess he had to get through the security glass or something. And he was just like, a car is the best way to do that. But dude was fucking terrifying. It was awesome. It was an entrance. It was a, way it was to a great it. way yeah. to do it. You gotta fucking around anymore, people. And that's and noises are what the hell was that? Boy? It was a terrorist attack, and everybody's like, "Fuck!" And, and Sarah Connor's like, "I know exactly what this fucking is." Yeah, you know what I mean? Back, right? Yeah, exactly. And meanwhile, yeah, uh, they're still interrogating Reese downstairs, and he's like, "Let me in. What's going on? It's, it's, what, it's what I said was gonna happen. It's happening." Yeah. I think he steals a paperclip here, right? Well, no, the guy goes. Um, no, remember, he, he goes, "Watch him!" And as, yeah. he, as he leaves, oh, the guy just, turns around to watch him, and just he fucking <laughs> knees, like, knees the knees shit him out right, of him, like goddamn. And takes him out. And that's the cool thing, right? That's the cool thing where he like comes down and like takes the keys in his back. Yeah, you know, his back. Cool. Uh, and then yeah, Schwarzenegger now Terminator is just walking through the police station with just fucking killing everybody, like a shotgun and a machine gun. Why not, man? Just dual two hands. wielding this. He's like. just Mister X right now. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, totally, yeah. totally. Just fucking just killing up. every cop he sees. Yeah, every cop. Man, Does those the... cops though, they were coming out with some big guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I love the part where he goes. He also goes up to like the the elect- electrical box. And, like, yeah, rips oh, it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And then plugs it into the other one, and all the lights explode. Yeah. That's very cool. Scary. Yeah. Very, Smart. very cool. And you feel the ten- you, you feel how the tension, you know, yeah, like yeah. even you see the silhouettes running by the window and Sarah's all fucking scared. Like, Excellent. Oh but this is why I love the storytelling on this, right? Like if you were to in any other movie, if I was like a horror movie, right? Like Mike Myers or whatever, or Halloween, right? You go to a comp station. That's like the universal safe, safe place. zone, yeah. right? And that's why this does it so well, because it takes that one horror trope. Like think about like scream, things like that. Where you're you're fine here. And it goes, no, you're not, motherfucker, because this thing just took a car through the front door, and it's murdering everyone in the building. Nothing can stop it. it yeah, that's terrifying. the craziest part. Like, he's getting shot at nonstop, and stop it doesn't affect him at all. At first, and at first, you're right. It's the pistols. And they're yeah. like, fuck this. Break out the SWAT guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Get well, those and, old school M16s. And then, the, like, the chief guy gets killed. Yeah, yeah both of the cops and then, well, the killed, other like, one, so like, un- heroically. Yeah, the other one comes out and gets the much bigger gun, like, to kind of avenge him. And, and then just immediately... <laughs> Yeah, like, immediately uh, just gets killed. I just walking through fucking Meanwhile, like you said, there's silhouettes running around. Sarah's hiding under a desk. Somebody breaks in. She thinks it's Terminator. And, and it's Kyle. He's like, Sarah! She's like, Kyle! And they're like, ah, oh, again. They get reunited. <laughs> they get the fuck out of there, right? Terminator sees them leaving, but it's too late. Like, ah, fuck. They got away. And they're, they're gone. And they're in the wind. And Terminator's like, hmm. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and so, like, uh, they, mm-hmm. Kyle and Sarah, they're just on the run. They end up in a, in Car a storm, gas, storm, yeah. Yeah, storm drain or whatever. Uh, they're chilling there. I think this is uh, yeah. They're chilling there. Sarah's cold. Kyle she can't gives sleep, a right? So he's telling her stories of the. F- well, yeah, it's, she's cold, and then he gives it to her. You should get some sleep. You can't sleep. Yeah, something like that. He doesn't give it to her yet. No. The jacket, you fucking perv. You guys get your fucking head out of the gutter. All right. And get but this is when we get the cool like future flash. This is when we get the future where it's flash. like they the like. The rubber ones were easy to spot, but yeah. then the synthetic ones were synthetic real ones difficult. Yeah, so yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like. Were they though? I feel like 
Just no? I mean, aside from the dogs, they were all giant muscular men, you know? Well, not they're not supposed to be. It's just that Arnold Schwarzenegger really wanted to hook his friend Franco Colombo up with a role. Oh, really? So that's why the other, yeah, the, the other killer that comes through is Franco Colombo. I like, like it better that the machines people. are talking to each other on that, like, you know, fucking ping pong level of just, like, being things back and forth and, or up in Cyberdyne or whatever. And they're like, cool, we're going to call them hunter killers because that's badass. Oh, okay, cool. I also think this is the top specimen of a human. All right, cool. Let's make them all look like that. No, <laughs> Thanks for finding they look 1980 yeah. uh, Mr. Olympic or whatever. So yeah, copying origi- everybody's body off. Of. Originally, Cameron wanted to have someone that was nondescript. He wanted mm-hmm. Michael Bean to be the Terminator or someone uh, like that uh, because he wanted Terminator. It doesn't make sense yeah, to have yeah. a gigantic that guy. Like you're looking at a crowd, you're like that one. That guy clearly yeah, yeah. is the fucking yeah, yeah, Terminator. Yeah. Yeah. The ones that d- double wide. <laughs> yeah, so they wanted that's that's why when it got to T2, they were like, it's funny to make Robert yeah, Patrick yeah, the Terminator. Yeah, so cool. he actually blends in. They're like, you. What's your name? He's like. The Destroyer. <laughs> like, yeah, it's him. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Terminator. Damn it. Yeah, uh, but even I, that, like, it, when that dude, like, sneaks into that fortress or, like, their little base of operation, he still cleans house and oh, yeah. it takes them forever to take him it's out. Really it's really hard the to most, like, Even with the guns of the era. Yeah. It's just straight up, like, uh, again, like... Uh, it just reminded me so much of Contra, like yeah. the music, yeah. the visuals, yeah, obviously totally. like the '80s sort of synths or whatever, and it, and this guy with a giant yeah. like gun. It just I just picture like your little character. Like, <laughs> yeah, totally, 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 totally. Totally. And that's crazy. That's what's crazy about this. In, in in these flashbacks, we never get resolution, right? Like there's never an ending where everyone's like, "Oh, that was a that tough one." We literally end this flashback with the guy like hammering rounds at him, and Reese kind of comes up and starts shooting back at him. Then he wakes up. Like it's never, it's never like a oh we, we figured there, it out. There is some exposition that like Reese then later gives where he talks about like we won, like we were yeah, shutting they, they down were their main frames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, m- important here just for Easter egg or not even Easter egg, but cool story stuff is that this is where his photo of Sarah gets burned. That uh, John Connor gave him this weathered old photo of uh, Sarah, so he you would know, know yeah, exactly uh, who he was looking for on the other side, of course, right. but in not that reason. Did we that. miss the conversation where he like explains to her about the photo or no? Or that's later, right? That's after. Oh yeah, no, that's yeah. later. That's, on. that's after, later. That's, on. that's later. On. That's later. On. <laughs> But he talks about he talks about John Connor here too. He's like yeah. he's a good leader and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. He has a real I lot of backstory what's Connor. going on. Uh, and talks about how he never had, I think, a childhood, right? He was, yeah, like, he, was, he was born in the hell, yeah, because yeah. she asked him about that. Yeah. yeah. He was uh, already born. We also get the does the, is this the moment where we get the conversation of like, I came here to meet the legend. Sarah Connor that prepared John for yeah, all of you're this. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Which like, is also some like cool. Yeah, because oh, yeah, she's you? just this regular you woman at suck. this point. Yeah, totally. that's really also bad one of the job. Other, I think that's also one of the strengths she's of the story. Terrible too, at her job. Is that Cameron was able to take her, who she was like what the, the, a server at this restaurant, 18 years old mm-hmm. or something, to this, and make her by the end of this like into yeah. like an actual believable like I can I'm starting to be able to take care yeah. of myself like heroin. So, uh, there's there's a moment at at the end where it's like, oh shit, like there's like the tough. Yeah, character that well, we get a hundred feet yeah. soldier. She has a headband now. Yeah, it's when she Let's actually. Let's get there. Let's get yeah. there. We're gonna get there. We're almost there. We're gonna get there. So yeah, they have this conversation in the tunnel. All right, great. Uh, one thing we skip from. Oh, well, I guess this is important yet. Uh, they get in the tunnel. They get out of the tunnel. They're gonna go to this hotel. Uh, which Tiki Hotel is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, a great moment where Reese is like, "Is this enough?" She's like, "Yeah, it's just a bunch of a ball of dollar bills and money and whatever." He stole from. Like, I don't even want to know where you got that from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they check into the hotel. They're they're there. She finally is ex- she's excited to get a shower. Uh, he's he's going to go, go out shopping. Groceries. She's like, oh, man, that's great. And he thinks it's going to be food. It ain't going to be food. He leaves. She comes out of the shower. Uh, this is where it was important that I skipped that w- back in the apartment when Terminator was killing everybody, he was taking in as much information as he could. He read the little her uh, address book, which had mom's uh, uh, big bear cabin in there. Mm. And so with oh. no other leads to go on, he goes after the mother. We don't know this. She, call, she of course, doesn't listen to Kyle, calls uh, her mom to warn it. We hear the from Sarah's perspective, mom being all worried. Then we cut back to Big Bear, and yeah, the door's all fucked up, and there's like smoke and shit. I think maybe a leg. And it's he's doing the mom's voice. It's so cool. When I saw that the first time, I was like, oh my god, that's so scary. Yeah. And also, like, what a commitment, a finite thing, right? There's no happiness for Sarah here. Her mom just got murked. Yeah. We're not, there's no coming back from this. Yeah. This yeah, is yeah. It. You were, you we're through the looking glass at this point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She gives up the address like a dum dum. Okay, so fine. Dumb. Uh, she hangs up. Kyle Reese comes home. Oh, what'd you get? And a bunch of stuff to make glycerine or whatever. Plastique. Yeah. That's yeah. what he says. And it's I, a more stable remember, version of glycerine. A long time ago, 
I said that on the show, and you guys are like, what the fuck is plastique? And I was like, I don't know, but it's something that they said in the Terminator. <laughs> it's C4, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, something, something like, like that. Explosive. It looked more gooey then. Yeah, so they get to work on muffled. making these pipes, making these bombs. They're working on all that crap. They're doing it. She's, no, clean she's, the threads. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I also love that she goes, <laughs> he goes, she goes to twist it on. He goes, oh, be careful. And then five minutes later, when he's all pissed off, he starts stuffing him into the fucking bag. <laughs> and I'm like, how? What? Huh? <laughs> and this is, yeah, the conversation, right? Of like, uh, some legend are, I am, yeah. this, that, the other, blah, blah, blah. Then it's like, I've been in love with you. For no, because some... she's like, what are women oh, like? What are, what are women, women, like? Yeah. women are like in They're your tough. Head. They're tough and hairy. Real hairy. It's not what I mean, Reese. Yeah. You, you and he's know. like, I don't know. He's like, I don't know. I've, only, I've never done it. She's like, never? And then, oh, man. He's like, I've been in love with you forever. I should have said that. Stuff the fucking homemade explosives into the double bag. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, get away with it. And also, that's shirt, also shirt off. Uh, Were they born, born in labs? Now it's time to rank those ass. He's he's got a great body. It yeah. doesn't compare, he looks though, phenomenal, right? but I mean, he's very very fit. And to be fair, yeah, if it were fit. just him, he'd be number one. On the sure, list. but it wasn't just him. <laughs> but but it was but the action I figure. There it is, Arnold. <laughs> for him to get bigger than Arnold, he would have had to start doing steroids when he was three. Yeah, because <laughs> Arnold's fucking huge in this. So rank he's number two. Go a respectable number two. Number two, on number, two. number two on the list. Not bad. But that's also where we get the great moment where he's like, I've looked at this picture and thought about, like, what, what, what was What were you this? thinking yeah. in that moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's awesome. Cool. 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 Yeah, great. Really great. Wait, what? I missed that line. What is it? He, he's talked about how he had that photo forever and how he would look at it and wonder what she was thinking in the moment the photo was taken. Because it's what, your face is melancholy or something like yeah, that. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, that's so cool. And I, I never caught that. Yeah. yeah and then that's really well, cool. we'll get there. Uh, so then it's like, yeah, then it's just fuck fest city. Let's Dude, go. It's not just fuck fest city. Uh, like, they have the make balls. Make love city. My apologies. No, it, they they <laughs> were the fucking. But no, they, they were had, making love. They straight up had the balls to be like, we're just going to take the Terminator theme song that we've only played in this movie, like in the, in the beginning so yeah. far. And we're going to do a fucking dope-ass piano remix, and they're just going to get it on. And we're not going to cut like, away. They, we're just going to keep, we're just going to let it play out. That's you know? not true. They, they do need cut to, away they the, need hands, to hear the, the They need to hear the song. You know what we I mean? I'm saying like they're not cut away too quickly. Like they're oh, gonna like no. let it breathe. They give this song time. And I this have sex not scene seen is a, way too long. I have not seen way a sex scene like this since like HBO Cinemax. Yeah. Not even Skinemax, just like HBO Cinemax is a drama movie at night and it's a rated R movie and like well, that's it's not, not porn. Work, man. I feel yeah, like Roadhouse crazy. had a similarly oh, yeah. really oh, yeah. long. So did Top Gun. To oh, take no, like it's away. sure the, like the eighties, man. They the fucking sex did it, dude. Way you you, you couldn't be considered for Academy Award uh, contention unless you were had a, <laughs> a fuck scene in one of your movies. Yeah, it had to be love gr scene. gratuitously long. And he slapped her ass and he was like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like on beat and the music yeah. popped. That was good. That was funny. So they've made love. Guess what? Now, who is John's father? We don't know, but it's looking pretty good for this guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And again, this is the other problem with the Terminator universe, right? Because it has that time paradox. Time is a flat circle. We don't know how time works. Exactly. We don't know how time works. We don't know until end game. Yeah, exactly. They changed everything. Uh, and so guess what? We wake up next morning. Everybody's just been fucking. It's been great. We got bombs. Everything's awesome. This is What's that? The fucking dogs are barking outside. Oh, woof, woof. fuck. It's to Oh, no. Get your pants off. You exactly. got to go. So then Terminator he fucking fucks up the hotel room. He goes in there and doing the fucking thing like this, jumping around. Very animated. Again, a different Terminator. You know what I mean? He's in beast mode now. He's mad. Yeah, he's you know what pissed. I mean? He's I, like, this job is only supposed to last 30 minutes and I can get back to my Terminator family. He aggressively <laughs> shot that bed. <laughs> like, he but he, cut, he does that. At one point, he does <laughs> the thing, though, where like, like, and you don't know if he did this scene first and didn't really nail the Terminator mechanics, but it is the thing where he kind of slides in and he's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like he's fencing? <laughs> Captain like, Hook? What is happening here? Uh, they're gone. He hears the car outside. He looks outside. Fuck, they're getting away in this car. And so he runs down. He gets on his uh, motorbike, and he's chasing them, and he's shooting shit, and they're shooting. They're, everybody's shooting. And we got fucking pipe bombs. We're just in a tunnel. We're just throwing pipe bombs down the tunnel. They're so bad at it, like <clears throat> aiming. It's so, well, it's, it's, I guess, yeah, I, I guess it's a timing thing. Exactly. But yeah. I, I, I don't think any of them that they threw during the drive got anywhere close to damaging him. Well, it's just he He's was also just, he was riding through smoke the whole time. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. He didn't get any, they, they were just making him look cool. <laughs> like there was just smoke passing by him, and it was like, ah, man, he's not dead, but he looks badass. Yeah, right yeah, yeah smoke. exactly, exactly. So they're yeah. doing this and then getting chased, and then Schwarzenegger's getting closer. I'm sorry, the Terminator, and like he gets there and he gets off the bike and he gets in the back of the truck. He's in the bed of the truck, Nick. Remember this? He's in the bed of the truck. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. And he, they're like, oh, I got him. 
and the fucking truck flips over, and then it's just like clearly a dummy on the ground just sliding down asphalt oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, right? That's right. Yeah. They roll their their car. And last the thing I pause on. Uh, they they're, they roll their car. Uh, then a just a fucking Mack truck comes down and it just runs just, over the Terminator. It's fucking him up real bad. He's oh, just face yeah. Shit and he like grabs onto it though yeah. for a second and then like totally like, yeah yeah, yeah and so then you know Sarah's trying to get uh, uh, Kyle Reese uh, out of the thing or whatever and the truck and they're getting up he's, he's like, been oh, shot in like the stomach yeah 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 and he had, we've skipped where he'd been shot in the, sh- the side or shoulder too through the meat whatever it doesn't matter oh, right, um, right, right, that right. was way in the back doesn't matter uh, oh, they, they get passing. up and then it's like yeah Terminator get, get, he comes on the side of the truck and opens the door and like get out that's <laughs> it, but this is a great fucking scene yeah because you don't see him at first he gets in. And then looks over at it. Oh, right. The guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, the driver got out to check on him. Terminator fucked him up. Then Terminator climbs in. The guy was like, that was weird. His passenger was like, oh, and he's like, yeah, he's like, get out. Yeah. Which is, I think, mirrored, a line that's mirrored. Uh Yeah, there's a lot. T2 mirrors a lot of stuff here in in amazing ways. But like, also, like, I'm tired of killing people. Just get out. You know <laughs> what I mean? Out, like, man. you could have killed the guy, but he's like, I just don't. Like Mondays. Yeah, dude, right? <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I'm <laughs> exhausted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, think I, they think I'm going to tire. I get tired, okay? <laughs> One My good wife's things. pissed, you know. She made fucking ravioli two hours texts, ago. Yeah. <laughs> future future texts. Future texts. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, then they turn around, and it's the big rig now. And it's like, oh, shit, he's got a big rig. And Kyle's all fucked up, and they're running. And they're, they're, they, this, they don't get in another car here, right? They know they, they keep run. hobbling. They don't they take the car, the, like the pickup truck that has the weird the like, house thing? on it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. that's in two. Yeah, see, that's the thing is I ran. Oh, I watched them yeah, back there. That's back, another so scene in two. This one, they run, and as they're running, he says, Go. He tells her to go. Yeah. And as the thing, uh, as the truck comes to get her, he stuffs a pipe bomb in the tail. In the tail. And then immediately yeah, yeah. jumps into a dumpster that is sitting out in the middle yeah. of the road for no Perfectly reason. Perfectly for him, too. Jumps Still in there. Yeah. She keeps running, and thank God, um, explosions only go backward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They don't go forward. Yeah. They only yeah. go backward. No, she goes around a corner. So she goes around like the corner. She hits a, a it, really it, nice it solid goes corner. A long t- it's a long time of Terminator slowly chasing her in this yeah, big rig. Yeah, in this big rig. And, and then it blows the pipe bomb stayed in there perfectly. Yeah. Hey, man, that's how trucks were in 84. Uh, <laughs> the big rig explodes. Oh, my God. There's a flaming wreckage. You see uh, Terminator Schwarzenegger get out oh, of the, the totally fucking car. Fire. And he's like all on fire. And then he falls down. And yeah. he's, you're like, oh, my God, it's done. It's done. Oh, it's over. When I was a kid, I was I, even though I knew there was more. I was so relieved at this moment. Remember that? Yeah. You're like, it's it's done. It's good. Maybe, Honestly, maybe this time it won't. It, it kind of felt like the end, though. Yeah. Like it, I wouldn't have been surprised if we had credits there. It wouldn't uh, have been satis- like I'm happy dude, they kept going. It's but. so satisfying. There's a piece continues. of trivia where the producers, the studio execs, were like, we should end it here because it's the ending. Huge goes mistake. And turn he was like, no, we can't do that. We need to have him keep. We need to keep showing how terrifying this thing is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, her and Kyle embrace in the flaming wreckage, and it's like, oh my god, it's over. It's finally. And then like, oh my fucking god. It's not over. It's right there. It's a, the worst effects we've ever seen. It's, it's, a, it's here. a full blown. Dude, there was also there was also it's so fucking cool though. There was something so scary about stop motion in the eighties. Oh, yeah, even mm-hmm. the effect of it is so eerie to look at when it's like walking down the hallway and like scraping its leg and See, shit. See, I it's agree with you weird. with the stop motion's eerie. Not in this movie. No. It did not work for me at all. Where no. I was just like, I I would love this to be somehow updated and not updated in the way of like let's make it all CG, but like. Something that looks better than this. It's just there. It, this there's lots of parts that don't work, but there's one part where it's walking down the hallway at them as they're closing the door, and it doesn't it doesn't line up 100 percent perfect. But it works. They run for, into this yeah. building. Yeah, they run into this building. Uh, Terminator's hobbling behind him with a uh, screwed up Black leg. Up leg yeah, yeah, he's just the exoskeleton. Uh, you're right so that they cool. get there and it's like terrible green as they like shut yeah, the thing yeah, and, and right. lock it up, and then he's like, and it's like banging through the door. He starts really? ramming. And they run in there and they they run the best they can. Kyle can barely move, and uh, he turns on he's, he's like he's like oh, turn them in distractions. I'm like okay, this is new thing. For can't the tra- he's, he can't track us. So he like, can't track us. He tracked us before because. And so they keep walking, and then he collapses, right? And that's when we get the, like the get up, soldier, and like she's yelling at him yeah. and shit. Like you got to fucking move. on your feet, soldier. I was like, yeah. oh, she's a leader. Now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's how you know. Yeah. But it's like unbelievable, right? Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. Like, yeah. Some shit here. Yeah. 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 Terminator busting the fucking thing. He's looking around. He's like, oh my god, there's so many fucking printers and egg McMuffin machines in here. They're all fucking <laughs> doing shit. I can't. I'm, I've never seen. Hey, this is like I used to have to pay to go to a museum to see this, but now I don't. Yes. Nick Scarpino kind of the egg McMuffin machine make the whole thing? Yeah, you know how it is. You yeah. know what I'm talking about. Okay. A breakfast sandwich machine. And including the wrapping, right? No. Okay. That's silly. That's just crazy. Are you dumb? 
I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Captain <laughs> Quella. Kind of funny. Uh, so Terminator's in there now, and they're running around. They're like trying to make all these different moves, and there's just nowhere to go. There are dead ends left and right. And like I said, there's just printing presses. The Gutenberg printing presses they're doing shit. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a fucking <laughs> convention the for right fucking machines. The Wright brothers are making airplanes. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what does this place do? Linda, Linda Hamilton? Yeah. Correct. Is that her yeah, name? Yeah. yeah, she like injured herself really early. Uh, not in the, Not shooting the movie, but during the shooting of the movie. So her ankle was like super fucked. So in a ton of this movie, especially this end scene, like they'd saved the shooting of the action to, for the end to hope that she would heal. She didn't fully heal. So a lot of her like hobbling is like legit her hobble. Oh. Works for it. I've been it there does. before, man. Played a lot of basketball. It's crazy. Yeah. Blown well, you out gotta, you, gotta go, you gotta keep playing though. Yeah, you gotta play through Push the pain. Through. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you severely tear your ankle ligaments, you keep going out there. Don't. <laughs> sure. Don't. That is how you lose <laughs> a leg. Yeah. Yeah. So you lose a foot. <laughs> So yeah, Kyle's all like fucked up and can barely move. They try to double back or whatever, and then there's Terminator. Oh fuck, you know what I mean? They go off this like this uh, like catwalk a little bit, and it's like that. And like, oh my god, what are we gonna fucking do? And Kyle's like, I'm gonna fucking grab some pipe. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna yeah, this. I'm gonna fucking hit him in the head with a pipe. And he does it, and the Terminator's just like, stop, please yeah. stop. This and then isn't, he slaps the shit out of her to me. Pow. Fuck off, right? And then yeah, he turns out to go down and say no Beach. to go after Sarah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, that's when uh, uh, fucking Reese hey put, sticks the sticks thing. To, yeah. He does it, right? Yeah, yeah he sticks it right in the ribs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then sticks tries to the panda roll down the I, stairs. I thought that roll I was he was awesome. Saved. It was a good roll. Yeah, because he was shot. I thought you know? he was good. No. Nah, I think no, fucking no, blows dead. up. Uh, there's all sorts of shit happening. Uh, Sarah gets up. She's like, ah, and she moves her leg, and she got a big old big piece old of metal, metal right yeah, in there. Yeah, thigh. Yeah. That one hurts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ooh, that's a stinger. You pull maybe it out. Maybe don't pull it out. It could be yeah through the artery. You know what I mean? But she didn't know yet. She didn't know yet. And so she's like, "Fuck, Reese, how you doing?" She rolls him over, and he's all like, "Bang." I'm like, oh, fuck, he's dead. You know what I mean? Yeah. So sad. That was that sad. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, and that was like, his end. That was. She, yeah. yeah. That's it. I you mean, do everything real, he had to do. It's a real movie. You know? But, I mean, that's Dude, what we think. Because this is another moment where you get a, like, oh, they beat him up. They're like, they he's, they got he's him. done. They blew him up. This awesome. thing's, it is destructible. And then, boom, he sits up. He's like, you can't fuck this up. Fucking guy's got no legs. And he's still coming for me. <laughs> Shit, fuck. And she's all fucking bleeding out, the, bleeding out the side. So she's like, I can't fucking run. So she starts pushing herself back. He starts pushing himself forward. She crawls into this metal sandwich maker. And she's like, boom, 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 to the end of the sandwich maker. And it's a she big old. She grabs a McGriddle. <laughs> it's a big old panini press. Uh, Terminator, he gets in there. And this is like when suspe- sus- suspension oh, yeah, of disbelief is. is like, right, we beat him. Because he's in there just clawing at it. He's got no, he doesn't, it's, he, he, when you're in a metal panini press and you're Linda Hamilton, right? You got the, the this. You got the, you the, got sweat on the your natural palms, a little bit, a little suction bit of, of your hand. Yeah. yeah. Terminator gets in there. That's metal on metal. He ain't pulling himself. He ain't yeah, doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. He's got like round tip fingers. She He's gonna also sit there. then pulls down a cage on him. Right. right. Well, yeah. she gets all the way to yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah. He's still coming at her. I mean, because he's Terminator. You I guess gotta that. remember this. He's got incredible finger strength. Yeah, really. So good. he's just, he's playing metal. It's just stainless steel. He's denting it. Yeah, he's He's there, no, it doesn't it. matter. Absolutely. She brings down the cage or whatever. He gets his hand and through. Like, and, no, rah, rah, rah. So and she and then she she does this thing. She finds it and she's like, I know how to use this piece of machinery. Yep, and then she goes, before. You're terminated, fucker. Boom. Awesome. <laughs> dope as fuck. fuck the electricity. Fuck yeah, so cool. All of it's dope. I hated the hand coming out and like being near her. It's like if it was one fluid motion of like uh, the final almost. attack, cool. But it was just like this lingering, like almost yeah. loving embrace. And she just chill with it. And, and then he was like, like, bitch. <laughs> like, as he was dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Terminator squished. We see his eye die. We see his arm get stuck out there. And it's just like, oh, my God. It's over. It's over. It. The crawling reminded me of Breaking Bad. The, 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 the gangster guy gets out of the bed. And he's, like, crawling towards him in the, pl- in the hospital room. And the blood is, like, on the ground, smearing on the ground. And they're, like, and, and Gomi's standing there. And Gomi's, like, rotten hell, you you son of a bitch or whatever the hell. I don't understand. I didn't. I've never interrupted your fucking Breaking Bad interview. Not you got to interrupt my fucking Terminator interview. <laughs> Not huh? once. Bad form. Yeah, Where's Watto? <laughs> put that shit in this house. That's an interesting question. Hey, hey, hey Andy. I think Watto respects these movies too much. I get that reference. Yeah. Thank you. There we Very go. Uh, and then she hears the cop sirens, and it's like, who? Kalu Kale Springfield. It's over. And so then it's like we had a little bit of a flash forward, right? Like we're down in Mexico. Uh, and like, uh, he got like tumbleweeds blowing in and shit and whatever. She's getting gas. So, she's getting gas in this nice Jeep. She's got a German Shepherd, of course. She's got a little walkie talkie talk boy and she's ta- making tapes for John Connor. And she's telling him, like, oh, she's pregnant. She's rubbing the j- belly. And she's like, I don't know what you tell your father. And like, Kyrie's is your father. And I, you're going to have to tell him, and these tapes are for you. And I'm blah, 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 blah. And the guy comes out and he's like, oh, you want some gas? She's like, yeah. And she tries it and he understands English. All right, I'll fucking fill you. The boy comes over, he takes a photo, and it's the photo. 
Wow. wow. And, and she's, cool. she's talking Didn't about it Kyle and how it's much so she obvious, fucking loves him and cool. you're a child. Oh, it is yeah, so exactly. cool. He was and thinking he's got a good sales pitch. She was thinking of him. Exactly. In that moment, she was thinking of him. So wow. So I like before that dot back to that line where she's like, I t- how am I going to tell you this? Maybe I won't tell you. I have to tell you this. It's so complicated because she has to tell him that he has to send his father back to die, but also to bang her first and then die. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm. And so, yeah, then, sure then the little boy says some sure. more stuff and she's like, what did he say? And he, he says there's a storm coming. I know. Hell yeah, man. Terrible painting of a storm. Call, call, call. Do, do, do. Sucka. We're getting in there, man. We're getting so in there. Cool. You make gotta sure, freaking make sure love you it. Make banger when you go back, but like real good. Yeah, like <laughs> only got one shot, the one opportunity. Yeah. So like hit, hit that, hit that good, right? Let's, let's do. Let's start with the it. with that. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rad Guys Talk Bad Guys, the podcast within a podcast where we rank the villains in the Terminator universe. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the Hispanic heartthrob Andy Cortez. How's it going, everybody? And Forbes, 30 under Whoa! 30. Whoa! AKA Whoa! the second best baby blues, AKA <laughs> the verified Terminator at Tim Gates. Terminator. Gettys. How are you doing? Whoa! Watch what's baby. Uh, I fucking love this. I am nothing Excuse but me, there's no audience interaction. There's I mean, no audience there's, interaction. There's, there's no audience one? interaction, sir. Yeah. There's Fantastic. no audience interaction in this. You got to uh, put a number one, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Despite the weird face makeup, he yeah. got he got a lot. Of, well, he has he has the entrances. He has the panache. I, I appreciate that a lot. Sure. Yeah. I like the multiple jackets. The lack of emotion. Lack yeah. of emotion is yeah. fantastic. Drove a cop a car into a cop, a cop station. Yeah. He has many. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every bad guy needs a good catchphrase. That's true. That's true. We got the first one. There you go. So there you go. History was made. First ever catchphrase. There you go. Terminator from Terminator 1. Number, Number one. one on Rad Guys. Talk Bad Guys. Wow. You can follow our exploits at Ragu Bagu Vids on Twitter. <laughs> I tweet every once in a while. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it always cracks me up when I'll see it. Just, it's just gifts. Yeah. It's like, oh, right, yeah, yeah. it's just a gif. Seven syllables in the middle. You need five for the first and last line. If you're not poetic, no need to fret it. Haikus don't need to rhyme. Haiku in review. Haiku in review. Give us some rhymes. Oh, we got some good. We got some good ones today, baby. Jasic writes in. You can go to patreon.com slash kind of funny and write your review in haiku form. Jasic says, R.I.P. Bill Pax. Very cheap music is used. Can't wait for T2. That's good music, though. I liked it. I like the crappy Sith. It does. It's just the, the problem is it's not quite good enough. It, Tim nailed it. it. It is like someone was like, I just got this Casio. And they started playing There's some an notes. Arpeggio. That was it. <laughs> I have an arpeggiator right here. Like, should I just hit this one key? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't. What is this? I don't get the references here. You, you just don't. Say it. We'll figure it out. It's a. It's a. Is it for this movie though? Yeah, it's in okay. the line. Yeah, they say it underneath the bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's like. Jason says a good field dressing. Do you like it? It's my first. Yeah. Great foreshadowing. Yeah. Yeah. When he when she patches up Kyle Reese, uh, underneath it. Or not, it's in yeah, the it's hotel, in hotel, room. hotel room. He's like, oh, it's a good feeling dress. Oh, okay, yeah. See, the problem is we have all the reviews on one thing, and I'm like, was this for Breaking Bad? Was this for... Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> the uh, next one says, Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blackjack says, Lonely Reese sidetracked, unexpected love attack. Now, he won't be back. Mm. He's good. Case Made Colk says, ta-da, ta-da. Ta-da-da-da-da. Naked Cyborgs will be back. Get used to butt crack. <laughs> That's, That's good. good. That's I like good. That fucking, if I can do it, baby. All right, now it's time to rank the Terminator universe. It's number one, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I can't That's wait for it. Is it it any, I, I mean, we talked about it in the front, and I know, yeah. whatever. Like, so we just all liked it. I right? thought it was awesome. I, I, yeah, I thought yeah, it was yeah, yeah. great. Like, yeah. I, I thought it was more than just good. I thought it was way more than serviceable. Like, this is not. This is a fucking movie that could stand alone, and I can't wait to to watch more of it. It really does get sad, and we're not going to end up going into these, so it doesn't matter. But like the rest of them, Salvation, I remember watching me like that's fine, but it's not good. Yeah, and like the rest of them are very. I feel like, like also the reason why this one's so good is because it ends on like a really downer note. Like yeah. They, yeah, she's alive, so the Terminator didn't get his mission, like complete his mission. But we already know what's going to happen. But we haven't like, stopped the fucking apocalypse. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. think it's a downer. I think it's more of a like they've like, succeeded. In, like yeah. uh, like there's. Something is yeah. Th- well, I I feel like it's in between. That's why I pr- that's why I appreciate the ending so much. Like this isn't like ev- not everybody's dead and shit, but it's like we got some work to do. You know, yeah. like I love that fucking. Let's go into the next part, dude. Yeah. It's so rad, yeah. so rad. Next week, we got Star Wars: The Phantom Menace on Tuesday, mm-hmm. and then Terminator Two: Judgment Day scheduled currently for Friday, but that might change. It might be Thursday. Until next week. I'll be back. Yes, thank you. Oh, that was okay. really good. Nice job.